Doobie deeba doo wop. I was trying to remember. I was trying to remember the name of a uh, baseball player who recently got into a, you know, no, got him. No, he got into trouble for uh, domestic abuse. And I was like, I'm going to take every card I have of his and just cut it up because fuck that asshole. Why don't you um, profit from the domestic abuse and sell but, the card? Because it'll be in demand now because he's a scumbag. But yeah, his <laughs> name is Odubel Herrera. Mm -hmm. and, uh, actually, the, what's nice about it is that when the Philadelphia Phillies found out about it, they fucking fired him. Oh, good. Cut him from the team. He's gone. Excellent. That's good. And now nobody wants to fucking hire him on. Like, good. I'm always this asshole accountable. I'm always happy to hear that in cases like that because uh, yeah. they are the biggest scumbags in the world. Yep. And uh, I've known many domestic abuse survivors that, uh, you know, essentially spend the rest of their life trying to heal emotionally from the hell that these scum fucks put them through. And um, I have no sympathy for them whatsoever. Well, for the survivors I do, but, you know, for the assholes who put them through that I don't. But, You're not uh, muted. What are you talking about, the large Duncan? He's not muted. I'm not muted now. I hear him. I was muted yeah, when he said him. that. Oh. <laughs> all right all right i managed to i managed to send saturday night and sandy through before uh before the inevitable mute happened so <laughs> i wanted to send it so now i can just Yay. enjoy the youtube flag and uh that's that okay so. yep gotta love that good old youtube flag yep 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 it's Get all flagged about on the youtube it's all about that flag. Waving the red demonetization flag. It's all about that oh, flag. Yeah. About that flag. No ad revenue. <laughs> no, uh, Learning and an... <laughs> yeah, no. sing it. <laughs> no money, no money. I don't need no money. Uh. Actually, I need lots of money. Watch live at HGV. Watch live. Watch live. Watch a lot. Why does it duplicate that like 8,000 times at the bottom of the description? I'm glad you're enjoying his pain and suffering as much as we all were. <laughs> For which? Mark Morgens. Oh, oh my God. God. The one where the guy just kind of slips away when you throw the battering at him. Oh, I will never stop laughing. Which was him. that? What was that? Which so part? you throw a battering at him and knock him down, right? Yeah. From across the street? Yes. And then you throw another oh, battering yeah. at him. And no. the game just like... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> no, what it was is like, I threw a battering at him to because he was a sniper. I remember the part you're talking about. And he was on the corner of a building. So <laughs> I threw a battering at him. It sends him flying backwards on his day. So I quickly zip line over to him. And I was going to jump on him and and do the knockout punch, right? So I go to jump on him, and he goes, zoop, just, like, slides out from under me and, like, zoops back to the corner where he was mounted. <laughs> no, like, that's not the one I was thinking of. Think, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was one this of them. This is a completely different one. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, there it is. Curl up and got him in the chat. Okay, yeah. hold on. So I'm, just, I'm just adding all the tags and shit for... Uh, for the uh, thing, yeah. Tags. I'm gonna Tags. make some ramen. Ramen. Like some ramen. It's shrimp flavor. That's not how you spoke. Top it. ramen, which by the way is not the top. Okay. The best ramen is. Marushan. So today uh, and yesterday, Rosie and I powered through the entire first season of Attack on Titan. She had never seen it before. And I was like, well, since Ooh. you have no internet access, let's watch some stuff that I've been wanting to show you. <laughs> so, Let me show you Potato Girl. 
So, yes, she loved Potato Girl. Wonders and, of Potato Girl. And I can't say too much about it because you guys didn't... Well, I know Eric has, but I... I Skid yeah. Slip and Stop, I did not see the rest of season one. We got up to, I think, episode 21, so we were fairly close to the end, but uh, 21 or 22, I can't remember, but uh, no, not at all. It's not too much for Rosie. She watches um, other stuff that's similarly intense. Well, you know what we but, forgot uh, to mention that I don't know if you heard about, Sean? What? I, I may have mentioned it to you, actually, but new <laughs> Minecraft game coming out. Oh, cool. Did I yeah, mention Minecraft that? Dungeons. It's an ARPG, like Diablo, but it's Minecraft. Interesting. No, I did not it's know that. It's a Minecraft that. Dungeon Crawler. No, I mean, it was... Uh, as far as I was concerned, I mean, it's, it's... Yes, it's very violent. And at times disturbing and gory and stuff, but... I'm slapping my packet. I noticed. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I didn't think it was inappropriate in that, you know, there's no, like, sex or, like, that much in the way of bad language or anything. And um, I figured she'd just enjoy it for the story and for the epicness. And I was right. She actually really enjoyed it a lot uh, to the point where she just wanted to keep marathoning and binging. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, so anyway, we finished season one, and then we're probably going to watch season two, or at least start on it tomorrow, uh, before she goes back to her mom's. I have not seen season two. I did have some of the big revelations in it, unfortunately, spoiled for me, um, but, you know, I will keep those to myself so as not to spoil them for her. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it was quite fun. Uh, watching because she she likes to theorize like as we're going through these types of shows and uh, she was like I I have a theory like okay let's hear it like about you know who the traitor is or or who the murderer was or whatever whatever the case may be uh, in this case it was who the female titan is she had some theories about that and uh, so she uh, postulated them to me and I you know poker face. Because she guessed correctly immediately, because she's very <laughs> sharp. <laughs> she's like, I bet it's so and so. I'm like, really? That's an interesting theory. <laughs> knowing that the actual inside, you're like, how the fuck did you? <laughs> <laughs> knowing the reveal wouldn't be until like six episodes later, and they only just started hinting. Uh, but then she, she noticed, like, I noticed, like, they actually have hints in the opening titles, if you pay attention. I'm like, fuck, kid, you were so damn sharp. <laughs> it's like, they actually give you clues in the opening titles if you, if you watch. So, it's like, see, they linger a little longer on that character. Therefore, that character must be important. <laughs> it's like, damn it. You just figured this stuff out far too quickly. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, so she, so when they finally reviewed, did the big reveal, she's like, aha, I knew it. I was right. <laughs> she said, see, aren't I good at coming up with theories, dad? I'm like, yes, yes, actually you are. So yeah, anyway, it was, uh, she's been having a lot of fun with it. She, uh, she really <laughs> enjoys the epicness. She really likes, uh, the main character's, uh, Titan form. Um, she said he's. The fa her favorite titan uh, look because she said he looks like a big elf <laughs> I said yeah he is kind of elfin isn't he but um and she said also uh she was gonna draw try drawing him and he says I'm gonna draw him because he'll be the easiest to draw because he actually has skin <laughs> I'm like yes that's uh that's very true so all the other titans are, or well, the super titans anyway, are, you know, skinless. But uh, yes, Just she she has Carlatan. She's seen, yeah. Well, the entire second half of the season is uh, them with the scouts. So uh, she has seen Levi in action a few times, and uh, she was pretty impressed. 
We actually see them briefly in the first half of the first season. We just kind of get our first look at those, uh, at the scouts. And we see Levi in action there. Um, oh, yeah, Levi's amazing. They, they've done, there's like a spin off manga that's all about his early adventures. Yeah. So, um,. I forget what it's called. Before the Fall, I think it's called. Something like that. I don't know. Or no. Or is that... There's like, there's like two spin-off mangas that actually tie directly into the main series. And then there's um, then there's like a parody manga as well. The Atta uh, Attack on Titan Junior High. Um, also, there's another parody, which is a series of shorts, which has all the characters as chibi versions of the characters. And them just, like, pulling pranks on each other and having crushes and stuff <laughs> while they're in training. And in the, at the end of every single episode, all of the main characters get swallowed by a titan. <laughs> and, like, they're, they're, like, chewing each other out at the end as they slowly drown in the stomach juices. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. Said, yep, they get eaten in every episode. Like, okay, well, that's interesting. She kept waiting for uh, to see if they did uh, the main character's Titan form. She said, I want to see the chibi version of his Titan form. <laughs> but I don't think they did. They just stayed in normal form. Mikasa. Oh, God. Mikasa's amazing. There was, there, yeah, there was a scene actually where Mikasa and uh, Levi teamed up to, uh, I think, to rescue Eren from the female Titan. And the two of them together, holy shit. Like, just... No Titan can stand before their might. <laughs> the two most badass characters, side by side. Like, yeah, I will be to any Titan that crosses their, their path. Holy shit. There are the Attack on Titan games. The main thing that steered me away from them was the price. It was they were really expensive for me. So, um... But yeah, I could see that. And I got, when I was watching the anime, I thought they got to make a game of this, like just to be able to zip around the city with those, uh, <clears throat> with the ODM gear, would be uh, so much fun. But um, there's also the live action movies, which I have not watched. I might actually watch those after uh, watching season two of Rose. But um, yeah, having watched watch all myself. the way up to the end of the available dubbed episodes. Mm -hmm. that exist right now yeah. i i can say it only gets even more tense excellent and even more dire and just like holy fuck awesome well i remember <laughs> when season one ended you couldn't wait for season two so you went out and read some of the mangas right yep. to see what uh it's like i just need to know what happens next like i just can't wait <laughs> but um yeah. the manga is up to like volume 20 something now i think yeah but, and uh, I stopped reading the manga. Like I said, I just read that little bit there. Oh, just to kind of see, yeah. Just to see what was going to happen, you know. Yeah. And well, I'm not sure how far in from it was until I watched, you know, what was available. And I, I'm like, okay, I've passed where I've read. Okay. So I literally have no idea what's going to happen next. The, um, uh, what is it? Season 3, Part 1 comes out on Blu-ray in August. Yeah. So I don't know if they're still doing the limited editions because I have the limited editions of the first three sets, which I, I like. And I was kind of hoping to have them all in that format, but I don't know if they're doing that. I didn't see in a listing for one. It was just the regular edition. So I don't know. But regardless, I want it. I want it. I want it. I don't know how long the manga is intended to run. Like, I don't yeah, know. If has... I don't think they know either. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know that the, the original creator of the manga is involved in the production of the anime. Like, he's on as an advisor, essentially. Right. And uh, so they, they have an interview with him. And uh, they said, so what did you think uh, when you were first approached for doing an anime adaptation of your manga? And I was like, they want to do an anime of it? Awesome! <laughs> they were like, he was like just beside himself with joy. And uh, is apparently quite happy with how how it's turned out. So, yeah, it is fairly. I mean, obviously it's condensed. Yeah. Um, but they do stay, like I said, from in through season two, 
they do stay pretty faithful to the manga. Yeah, well, I understand that. That was, I think we talked about this at the time, that was one of the reasons why it took so long for Season 2 to come out, is they were waiting for more volumes of the manga to be out, rather than just doing what a lot of shows do and have a bunch of filler while they're waiting for new stories. Diversion in some way. So they yeah. just, yeah, so they just kind of kept, it's like, you know what, let's just stick to the main story. We'll just wait a little while, and then we'll do... Do like, the new season. I super respect that, actually. Wow, it's, especially given what a huge hit it was. Like to actually just put it on hold for like what? What was it? Like three, four years until season two came out. I mean, that's a huge time span. But yeah. but the fans waited, and you know, and they were treated with yeah. something very special. I've heard season two is great. I can't wait to check it out. Um, like I mean, like I said, even though I had a couple of the things spoiled for me which i think you know what i had spoiled for me but yeah. um i still don't know how that those things play out like i want to see what the circumstances are you know oh Let's yeah wow. you're, you're, not, you're not raging about spoiler you mean you can approach every spoiler like that oh but... i i raged about it at the time believe me okay, but <laughs> oh, yeah. you can approach every spoiler with that uh, kind of this is one of the situations <laughs> where if you, yeah even if you've watched the first season you still I have no fucking idea. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, that's the thing I like about it, and um, um, and and like how I was saying to Rose, is uh, I was thinking it's it's like Game of Thrones for kids, you know, because <laughs> it's literally pretty much every character in it is fair game, and a lot of main characters who you spent the last six episodes getting to know and really fall in love with die horribly and unexpectedly, and. Um, and she just kind of got right into, well, I say kids, but I mean like, you know, 12 and up, whatever. She's almost 12. So, um, <laughs> teenagers, yeah. you, you underestimate the resilience of kids nowadays. Seriously. Like, a teenager at this point, like she's literally just yeah. some fanciful made up things that humans did to track time, expand away from being a teenager. Like it's, yeah. it's a mythical, it's his mental age. He, he understands the age yeah. of his child. It definitely is not a show for kids. It's definitely a kid show. For no, kids. it's not something I would have shown her back when I originally watched it. But now, right. and, and seeing some of the anime that oh, she's yeah. been watching, um, you're watching it with her. I mean, you know, well, and I watch it with her. Yeah, absolutely. And we talk about the episode. I mean, and she's loving it. She's having no problem with it whatsoever. And she's just she's loving the story. Questions that she needs to answer for, and you're not so, there. You're there to answer everything. That's exactly, the... and that's and that's wonderful. And it's and I like the fact that she's, you know, it, it's it's giving her the, you know, the experience of analyzing the show as we're watching and like looking for those little clues, and like and, and she's asking questions and like wondering, well, who's, you know, what's going to happen here? And then, and then you know, when the scout team goes into the forest, it's like, I wonder who's going to die. Like she's, <laughs> she's like anticipating it. She knows it's like, okay, we spent all this time coming to fall in love with all these characters. And we know they said right at the beginning, he said, when we go out into the forest, I fully expect two thirds of you to die. Like the commander is saying this as part of his right. pep speech. And it's like, well, that's a great pep talk. And, um, the, uh, you know, and, and then a bunch of them stick around. It's like, you know, well, we're going to put our lives on the line because it's worth it. I mean, we're, we're saving humanity. And, you know, there's some very powerful messages in there. There's some very powerful philosophical musings and stuff. You know, and I like the fact that it's, you know, it's one of those types of shows where, yeah, there's a lot of action and whatnot, but you really get into the characters' heads as far as what their personal struggle is and what their personal dilemma is as they're trying to figure things out. I mean, you know that in real time, in the outside world, this is all happening in a matter of seconds, but we're kind of getting right into their brains and, like, as they're trying to make this momentous decision about you know, oh, yeah. their lives or whatever. And we see, like, we'll see, like, a full episode of them, like, having a flashback to something, some important me thing from their childhood that relates directly to this decision they're about to make. And uh, and I love that, the fact that it does that. It's, it gives you all the action and excitement and stuff, but it also really gets in deep with the characters. Yeah. That's a really good way to explain it, because... Yeah. Uh, Attack on Titan specifically, and other animes that are like this also... They focus really he have really heavily on these characters' motivations. Just one the second. Reasons. One second. Oh. I mean, you 
loading. There we go. Sorry, I had to put. I realized I forgot. I didn't put the after party one up, and everybody's getting confused. So I it's, I just not say something. It's the after it party. Out. Sorry, go yeah. ahead, uh, Eric. I was gonna say the wait for find a gap in there. Like mm. Sean, just the thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, good. Other animes do this, especially animes with like dire plots. Yeah. Like that they really their their main focus is on giving every single character a true motivation yeah. for doing what they do mm -hmm. and going into almost painful levels of detail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And occasionally you do get into the, like, just get on with it already, but the minutia gets a bit much sometimes in yeah. some, jokes. but at the same time you realize once, you know, it does get past that and you get to that, that big momentous moment, the fact that you, you just, went through all this character and internalization and internal dialogue and flashbacks and whatever else with this character gives that moment so much more weight when oh, it yeah. happens. Cause then you realize just how much is at stake and what's going through their heads. And you know, Oh yeah. And like, there are, there are whatever different... reason, American media abandoned internal monologue at some point, And I don't understand. Yeah, I don't there are understand. different moments in attack on Titan where you're just like, Oh my God! Stop monologuing. Like, <laughs> <I know>. like <laughs> the one that that got me actually in in the first season is the I'm just gonna call it the smoky cannonball scene. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. A literally monologue for like five fucking minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, in a very tense that should be making a decision right now, yeah. or you're gonna die. Yeah. It's like that. They literally pause time and talk for like ten minutes. Well, that's what I mean. It's like you know that in real time this is happening in a matter of seconds, but this is yeah. we're, we're we're as you say pausing time to get inside the character's head and they're slowing down their thought process so we can actually follow it and oh, time yeah time. and and just go through. Uh, Armin in particular does that a lot. Like he comic books yeah. do a lot get, too. Comic books do that a lot, but Armin in particular because he's the he's the brilliant strategist guy. So he he yeah. really mulls things over deep and goes through like all the different permutations something! and puts together all the pieces of the puzzle and looks at all the possible outcomes. And is like, wait a minute, is this why that guy did that? And it's just like he sees everything, and he perceives everything, and then adds his own personal issues on top of it all, and then finally makes the damn decision. But you know, but that's his character. <laughs> I mean, he's supposed to be super analytical, right? So yeah, those are both the the beautiful and frustrating moments at the same time yes of the show because it does i do believe that as a tell as a as a show thanks for the follow the mr show, shrimp guy <laughs> it it slows it to a crawl and it definitely it can at times way down at times and it's just it can get a little <laughs> annoying it's but it, it's kind of the nature of the beast like i mean it's a double-edged yeah. sword it's like sometimes yes but at the same time as i say you kind of need those moments because it gives more depth to the characters and their decisions. Spikes right. Except is trying to get a word in. Like <laughs> your death blade, it's uh, it's a bring your own environment show. If you have booze yes. or whatever else you got, go for it. Coffee. Fefe. <laughs> it is your choice. I'm gonna get so. Started. So yeah, I've, as you can probably tell, I've really enjoyed. Uh, I, I wanted to rewatch the first season anyway before I watch season two because it's been so long since I watched it. Um, also, it's good. And also, it's really good. Yeah, exactly. Oh God, I mean, it's it's one that I know I'm going to rewatch many, many times over the years. But, Actually, um, you can't go wrong with English or subbed. I watched it both because that's what I do. I listen to the English dub with the subs because I'm a crazy person. Yeah. Well, in this case, uh, we just watched it with the English dub um, because you know I figure Froze is interested. She usually watches the English dub just because you know it's it's easier to. To follow, I guess initially. She's young, it's okay. Well, she's be... young. She, I mean, she is quite a voracious reader, and she what? I mean, she she doesn't have a problem with subtitles. Like she watched all forty seven minutes of the Chibi parody episodes for season one, part two, and they're only subtitled. And, and she was I watching and you, loved it. People watch them subtitled at some point. She will she, at some point. But that said, I mean, I have to say the the English uh, cast for Attack on Titan is freaking amazing. Like they did a, re they got a really good cast for that. And I also normally watch dub most I, of my anime. I think they did a good, a good job. Yeah, I um, like voice acting. Damn it. it, it varies. I mean, I like if it's a case where it's something that's only available subbed, I don't mind. I mean, oh, it's fine. Um, of course. 
and generally speaking, when I watch anime, uh, it depends what I'm doing. Like, sometimes I'll, I'll watch it dubbed if I want to kind of multitask while I'm doing something else. If I want to give it my rapt, undivided attention and experience it in its pure, unchained, you know, original form or whatever with the original actors, I'll watch it subbed. So Sometimes I want a very specific dub, like the streamlined dub on Akira. There's no reason yes. to watch it, the version of Akira. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I want it dubbed. I mean, subtitles, fine. I mean, yeah. like, dubbed version? There's no other dub version. I'm sorry. It's streamlined or, or subtitled. That's it. The stream. Oh, the streamlined dub is classic. I mean, it's just... It's My a, childhood, man. I know. I'm so glad that they included that on the 25th anniversary edition. Canada! In fact, I don't. I don't know if I've even watched it with the other dub. I like. I think I watched like the first five minutes of it. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna go back to the old dub. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cowboy Bebop has a great dub. Standalone comp. All the Ghost in the Shells actually have a great dub. They got a great cast. For those. Dub, but there's actually, I would say the vast majority of dubs are at least decent. I mean, I, yeah. I've very yeah. few dubs come across that are actually bad. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I know there's there's a, there's a few. I remember uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, I watched. I, I could not stand the English dub. Um, I've only ever watched it in full, uh, subbed. Um, Fair. What was it? Um, I, I can't watch the I can't watch the English dub of uh, of Initial D. The voice actors drive me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Was there was like, another yeah. one. Uh, what the fuck was I agree. it? It was around the same time that I saw that. I generally go to subs that relate to the Japanese oh, language. I can see the differences. It was uh, Bubblegum Crisis. And one of the main reasons for Bubblegum Crisis, uh, like, I'll only watch it subbed. I cannot stand the English. I uh, like the stand... I can't stand the English, and the reason I can't stand the English is because the English also has all the songs in English, and I think they they flow so much better in Japanese. Like it's the same songs, but with the lyrics translated to English, and I just don't find that the the rhythm of the lyrics is quite the same in English as it is. I mean, it's meant to be Japanese. It's a Japanese song, right? So, oh, frankly, that's that's the reason why like uh, my dad doesn't watch subtitle movies. He is I he has dyslexia. I just like to see it too, but mine manifests yeah. different. Mine's mostly numbers or pattern based, so like I can't okay. do a pattern. See. Like if I try to do like a beat game with my controller, I will the num the, the numpad will flip my brain, and I'll get yeah. all the or the pad will flip the face buttons. As an example. Um, yeah. So with like with Bubblegum Crisis, and I mean one of the big things that makes it so much fun is the 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 eighties uh, rock music. Essentially, um, it's got a great soundtrack right. to it. You know, pardon. I need to get Bumblebone Crisis. I really do. It's so it's good. So, it's, it's like thirty-seven bucks or something, which is god damn it for the Blu-ray. Yeah. 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 yeah I know. That's what I really want to get too. Yep. Um, I'm so. I'm <laughs> yeah, so well, that. I'm so afraid of that Pearl Culture website, the Robotech set. I'm so yeah. afraid of getting that because I know the minute I buy it, I'm like, here's a master Blu-ray set. Like, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Well, that's uh may or may not happen because uh the problem is not all three of the original shows that were made to use to make robotech have been converted to high def i'd be fine with blu-rays of the japanese show yeah <laughs> the uh now in japan uh the original macross super dimensional fortress macross has been put on blu-ray as has uh genesis climber mosquito which was the one for the new generation the third generation the only one that hasn't is Southern Cross. The so Southern Cross only exists on DVD, so that's kind of the hold up there. Now, on, uh, what is it, Naya, the anime fan sub torrent site, I saw a fan had taken a high def master of Macross and matched it to, matched it and re edited it to the Robotech audio. So basically made a high def version of the Macross saga. Wow. Well, the only part that was missing from it was there's a few episodes from later in that uh, generation, like that section, uh, that features some Southern Cross footage. Uh, so um, he cut out the Southern Cross parts uh, and just had the Macross parts, but with the Robotech audio. So it's as close as we've ever had to a high-def Robotech is this fan <coughs> creation. Um, yeah, I really want a Robotech set. I just, I'm gonna I break would down love to have it. Because cause I've seen Ma what Macross looks like. Like, the original Macross looks like in high def. And mm -hmm. it's beautiful. <laughs> um, 
I wish we would at least get that. Like, just can we just? I don't know. The, yeah. Nice thing. I think what is it? you posted a video uh, from that guy who does like toy reviews and stuff. I forget what his name Which is. One? Vault <laughs> Matrix. Ah, uh, he did. A, he did a series of videos about Robotech, and then he did a, a recent one. <coughs> oh, uh, Retro Blasting. Yeah, that was the guy. Um, retro Blasting, and sometimes he leaves his bloopers in the video because whatever, it's funny. But yeah. <laughs> you just see like a very casual guy. He's, he does do scripted stuff, but occasionally flubs and then leaves his flubs in. But uh, but anyway, um, he did he did a bunch about Robotech, and I saw the one that you posted in I guess on Discord, and it was where he was talking about uh, Harmony Gold tying up the rights for Macross for so long, and how they were just doing all of this half-ass product and half-ass shit to hang on to the license all these years, and. Um, <coughs> And that the license is up for renewal or expiration next year. Finally. Yes. And everybody is hoping cool. that they'll just lose the license so we can have the rest of all the frickin' Macrosses over here. Maybe someone will outbid them. Yeah. Please. Is it one of those licenses where they keep renewing it in perpet per perpetuity? Is yeah. it one of those? It's something like that. Because they keep doing things that sort of meet the old conditions set out for how yeah. they would keep the license. So they just keep doing half-assed products and re-releases rather than actually producing any new product. They just stop, I've been stuck in development hell in a movie, probably on purpose. Yeah, to... and it, it pisses me off because I look at... I've always compared Robotech and Voltron. They both came out around the same time. Voltron came out in 1984, Robotech came out in 1985. They are both Americanized translated, re-edited versions of animes made mm -hmm. from different anime shows smushed together to make a cohesive universe. But here's the difference. Robotech, they've been trying to do some kind of sequel or follow-up since like 1986 with yep. Robotech 2 The Sentinels. <coughs> and they've done several attempts to do sequels and follow-ups and spin-offs for literally 30 plus years. And yep. all of them have failed or died. They only did one, and it was the Shadow Chronicles movie, which was supposed to be a backdoor pilot for another series of movies or adventures. They only <coughs> ever did the one. Um, yep. Versus Voltron, which basically did the same thing. Not only did they have a wonderful relationship with the company that made Goldline to the point where they actually had them make new episodes for them so they could have 20 more episodes of Lion Force Voltron, that only exists in the American version of Voltron. There's not 20 more episodes of Go Line. No, that was strictly Voltron, made by the original animation company. Um, then they've had several revivals of Voltron over the years. There was the, the 3D one that they did. Uh, there was Voltron Force. There was the Netflix series, which was hugely <laughs> successful and, and well-liked by fans, new and old. And... Uh, this, the, what was that show was in 3D from the 90s, early 2000s? That's what I was thinking. Oh, Voltron, the third dimension, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, been a, that's been neglected, too. That was actually <sighs> yeah. unfairly, I gotta say. It yeah, the CGI was a bit crude, but man, it was still good. Yeah, and there was... They, they mucked about with some of the characters a little bit in ways that fans didn't like, but um, I don't know, whatever. It would be, it, be nice to have at least a DVD set of that. But the point yeah. is, oh, that's... Cool. I know it's coming Blu-ray. That's, that's like three new series that have come out based on Voltron uh, over the years. Most of them pretty good, actually. And most of them pretty good. You know, Voltron Voltron Force and the new Netflix series in particular, I think, were the two best of the bunch. They did a really nice job of both of those. So that might actually finally get the ball rolling on the other stuff. So, the... Uh, but yet, uh, Harmony Gold, for whatever reason, has been completely incompetent in getting any kind of new Robotech project off the ground, and I just don't know why. Like, it seems like they're more keen to just hang on to the license and do nothing with it. Oh, yeah, like, there's a plus in Japanese and Japan uh, on Blu-ray, but no English. I want the English. Uh, no, no subtitles the other problem. Yeah. Fuck. And, uh, yeah, Major Motokos says uh, the last Macross we ever got officially was Macross Plus. Yeah, now Macross Plus has it on Blu-ray. That's correct, yeah. 
Um, yeah, there's no live action movie. The live action <laughs> movie's been in development hell for like ten years. And did you hear? A, uh, did you hear? Uh, did you hear a start date in that filming? No one's lasting her news. Five years ago? Right. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. That's yeah. not happening. It's still not happening. It's not going to happen where it's at currently because Harmony Gold is probably fucking it over incessantly. And yeah, and unfortunately, because of the because of them tying up the Macross license, we haven't had any of the other Macross uh, sequels or follow ups or spin offs here. That we don't have Macross Seven, we don't have Macross Zero, uh, we don't have what the fuck. Are there? Anything. there was a new one that came out recently. I can't remember what it was. Nothing. But there was, anyway, there's been a bunch of other Macross uh, things. We got Macross 2, which was a sequel to Macross the movie. And then we got uh, Macross Plus. Macross Delta and Frontier. That was that was the ones, yeah. So there's been a bunch uh, since. Delta that, Delta and Frontier, that yeah. We should have had over here by now. You know, it's only one of the most beloved giant robot franchises in Japan certainly has its fan base here but the only way you can see it here is through unofficial fan subs that's it so yeah yeah it's right along with gundam at least with gundam thank god um gundam finally getting blu-rays here too gundam so. is getting blu-rays and stuff here and and also had a really healthy string of dvd releases from bandai look at this how many shows you've never heard of got blu-rays this year mm -hmm. Alone this year alone, mm -hmm. not including last year, not including the year before, the year before that, the year before that, the last ten fucking years, this been this oh, shit. Oh, I know. They've been they've been the purveyors of all the shit you never even knew it existed. Yay! Thanks, Gladden. I didn't know what the fuck space runaway Idion was. <laughs> I fucking saw that. I know. I like, what the hell? Oh, that's and then right I found out yeah, that the gift was from from there, and like now I really want to get it because this child gets shot in the face. <laughs> It's also Some supposed to be childhood. just a really good, you know, sci-fi anime. Oh, yeah, um, of course. But, um, yeah, no, Discotech is great. And I'm sure that Discotech would be bringing us lots of Macross if oh, Harmony no. Gold didn't have the rights tied up. Or, or Funimation or, 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 Funimation or Right Stuff or whoever, There's you know. Like five companies and any one of them would happily grab it. I know. There'd be a bidding war if that went out. I bet you there'd be a bidding war if that finally oh, yeah. got released. I just want Harmony Gold to go away. Like yeah. I, wish I really do. I mean, they they have. Uh, I mean, it's like you had your day in the sun. You had Robotech. Thank you. Um, you've done nothing for your fan base for the past thirty fucking years. Please just go away now. You know, you've lost all respect and all credibility. It's like there's just no reason for you to continue to exist. You are contributing uh, nothing. Oh, to you know the world, you were just. Not to ask no. the question, bro. Go for it. Mm -hmm. This isn't you. this isn't class. You don't have to raise your hand. Just just ask yeah. a question. You can raise your hand. That's you can, fine. You can I mean, you if you want. We won't see it because you're just text on a screen. But you know. <laughs> your life. I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't do. Correct. Oh, I'm so glad I finished Blackgate. <laughs> I'm so glad. You did? Good. Oh, that game was so Oh, were you not there for that? <laughs> um, I was trying to sleep, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you remember he had a long day today like I did? Yeah. I, didn't kind of I came I just, on <laughs> yesterday and uh, I had finished up the last bit of it. Um, I actually didn't have too much trouble with the Joker fight in the end because I'd already figured out what I needed to do. It was just a matter of doing it. I think I was just too tired by the time I got to it the first night. Um, the one that pissed me off was the Catwoman fight at the end because it was just really cheap and required such fast reactions that it was Catwoman really out. a challenge for me. But I got through it. Being old sucks. I gotta, I gotta well, say. and also, not only fast reactions. Yeah, I, speaking of someone for myself, by the way. The fast same. reactions and no checkpoints. And. Uh, shit controls. And, and shit controls. And also, then it was the, the old, you know, you have to do this specific thing in this specific series, this specific way, or you will automatically die. You have to figure it out by literally just going through the motions. It's like old school hard. Just so dying hard. again and again until I finally figured out, like, oh, okay, this, I get what I need to do now. 
and then it was then that's step one finally getting what it is you need to do and step two is then the reaction time and actually doing that thing that you need to do uh, what a pain in the ass so yeah it was, it, was, it, was, it was literally making me stressed out so I didn't mute you and like yes. watch fun things on YouTube calm my shit I was like oh my god I'm getting annoyed for you more annoyed than you were getting, and I wasn't playing the fucking game. Okay. <laughs> uh, first question, I'm thinking stream Mortal Kombat 11 for a whole week. Do I stream here or YouTube? I would say stream here, and then you can export the videos to your YouTube after. Yeah. So, and then you got both. Hey, thanks, Duncan! Woohoo! No message? Just random 10 bucks? Okay, that's cool. Whatever. You, there's usually a message with it. Ow, I bit my tongue. Never mind. I'm cool, hey, but like thank you. <laughs> nice. Thank you kindly. No, I'm not playing Dark Souls right now. Jesus Christ. I need the first one first anyway. <laughs> Only 63% left. 63%. Talking about, I think, the ability. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, what did I come in here for? I couldn't think I of a must. I forgot. I already forgot what I was doing. I saw King of the Monsters today. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. You liked it, eh? Yes. The end of credit sequence was kind of like a... Oh, okay. But, I mean, it was like... A, it was like it was kind of a nothing murder. It was meant to be like a ooh, but it was just like, eh, all right. It's like, yeah, I already know you're doing that. Well, <laughs> it was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Like, oh. okay. It was really obvious. Like, oh. yeah. It was not surprising at all. But I, I, everyone complained about the human drama, but honestly, all the human drama was literally world building for the franchise. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah. I, I build I the know. franchise. It's, like, it's all about the fucking behind the scenes of like <sighs> the monarch group and how like someone makes a reference. Oh, you're a second generation monarch? And it's yeah. like, no, I'm third. And then like, you're like, oh my God. So it's like literally people who've grown up in the system under monarch and don't know any other yeah. thing. So it's, yeah. like, it's like fascinating, actually. I want to know more. Yeah, I no, think that's cool. Like... Uh, second question: Most people have groups. How do I get one? YouTube group. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you mean by groups. Uh, like we're a group, you know. Well, how we... do you make friends on YouTube? I don't know. We just kind of made we, friends. We just made friends. We met on Stickham and just kind of started hanging out online, and now we are <laughs> a group. I, uh, I don't know if that's what you're asking. Find people who do similar things to like you, like uh, similar games as you, and maybe ask them to like um, if they are willing to do like a collaboration and play a game together I, or whatever. I don't know who KSI or Rice or Sidevan. They, or, they, they're um, they're or... big Twitch streamers. You really should know your job a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and how would knowing who they are help me? Because you're trying to be like them a little bit. Not that exactly no. them, but, you know. Okay. No, I'm just saying, it's one of those things. No, yeah, like, uh, uh, you know, like, a lot of big streamers have, like, smaller streamers as their friends that, like, play games with them and stuff. So, like, you just, like me, I'm a smaller streamer, plays with you. Same kind of concept. And the reality is, is just, you know, you just gotta ask people if they were interested in playing games, you know? <laughs> Princely says... Times, if you're trying to find, like, a Twitch guy, you find someone who's got, like, a playing with viewers stream, and you go... Play with them. That's how you get into a yeah. group. You start playing with a, a guy you like, yeah. and then suddenly he I likes mean, you back. It, in our friend. case, we, we just kind of all linked up organically right. over time. Like, it wasn't really we set out to create a group. It just, <laughs> you don't want to be like them. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Brindy. Yeah, he says, hey, YouTubers, and you don't want to be like them. Like, okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be me. I just want to belong. Yeah, man. I understand. What uh, I will say is that you can, uh, a lot of the Twitch streamers will have discords like we do. That's true. They'll yeah. have like yeah. specific channels dedicated to finding other people to play games with. And yeah. You can start, you can start finding people to play games with that way and then. That's true. Yeah. Then and start. Apparently that's just that the video games chat right now. We, we don't have a dedicated room just yet. Yeah. We, we don't, don't have, have anything like that, but. Uh, we have like a lot of hundred people, which is really small discord so yeah not bad for what we got no it's know. it's fine i mean and we we still get a, a good 
flow of new people coming in, which is good. Yeah, one every other day or so, you yeah. know. Yeah. I delete yeah. about two thirds of the people because they just have like obvious troll names. Oh yeah. Zare Snickersnacks tried to sign up the other day. I was like, Zare Snickersnacks. Really? I was, <laughs> That's I was like, a great name. Why you got why you got a problem with that Zara name? Zara Snickersnacks. No, it what, was or what about Zara Nizer crap? <laughs> oh god, that was like that. it was like it was, it was obviously trying to make a jet reference about you being fat. So oh, like, uh, Zara Nizer fat. fat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so clever that play on words. I know, right? It's like whatever. Like that's, I that's find it I'm... hilarious that people call me fat all the time, and it's like actually, yeah, I know I've got a bit of a gut because I'm f- like forty seven. Got a bit of a double very... chin because I'm forty seven, but. Truth be told, I'm not actually that overweight. Um, I'm 220. 220 pounds, I'm 5'10". That's like... I'm 174. That's like like maybe 20 pounds above average weight for my height. Like, I don't think that's very overweight at all. And it stays there. Like, I just don't gain or lose. It just kind of stays at 220. I'm I'm at 177, 173 around there, and I'm... It's all my gut and my thighs. Yeah. See, like, you know, exactly. That's like, I got. Like, honestly, that's probably well, the twenty yeah. pounds right there is my gut. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 and that's because Another five pounds work. for the double chin. No, it's not that bad. Oh, I mean, I would, I would stress that it would be probably good of you to like maybe work out and maybe even turn it into a stream where you hang out I'm and talk. Sure, I could. Like, a, you know what I would love to, is to have like an exercise bike or a treadmill or yeah, something, exactly. and I, I would just, I would basically just watch movies while I'm. Or Viking you can hang out with and talk with people about nerdy shit while yeah. fucking walking on the treadmill and doing do a fucking that. walk. You can do all those things at that point. You can just like turn it into a fitness challenge. Yeah. One, like uh, once a month, we're going to do eight hour stream where I'm just going to walk. We're just going to walk and hang out and talk. And yeah. maybe not eight hours. Start yeah. slow, lower. But you know what I mean. We're going to do mm-hmm. two hours. We're going to walk and a leisurely pace. And we're just going to talk for two hours. And that's my fitness goal for every day this month or whatever it is, you know. And you can do it like that turn into a youtube type challenge you know my claim to twitch fame is last night alinity mentioned me by name oh wow okay alinity i know of through pewdiepie because <laughs> pewdiepie is always they, they got some kind of rivalry going on i don't know what's going on there but uh yeah that's interesting alinity is pretty huge i think yeah I'm sure all the PewDiePie mentions didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, basically, if you want to be huge, get PewDiePie to mention you by name or troll you in some way. <laughs> but, uh, Sean, the clip. Fuck's sake. What? What do you want? So easy. Jesus. I want love and attention. Play my clip, Sean. Play my clip. I made a clip. Can you watch my clip? It's a clip, Sean. I made a clip. No, because you touch yourself at night. I'm All right, gonna... here we go. Clip. Hold on. This game just hates Sean. Oh, I think this is the one that Stoudman was talking about. Yes. Here we go. I don't. I oh no, this is the one I was talking about. This is the one that I was talking about. Oh. Yeah, here it is. It happens differently than. You oh think. shit! Right in the face. All right, so I hit him again. Or maybe we were talking about the same thing. And oh yeah, there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? We just like flew. Yeah, I just sloop <laughs> slides away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the same guy I was talking about because I think then after this, I hit him with the, the batarang. Oh. What the fuck? And then I went to jump on him, and he did the same thing. He just slid right. back to that corner. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, flipping. <laughs> Please notice me. Yeah. Thanks for the follow. Sorry, whoever that was, I missed the name. Okay. Wasn't that- well, what the I fuck? Was clip for some- <laughs> yeah. Oh, See, it was it. some kind of weird glitch where he was just, like, married to that corner. So, I, I would knock him down, and then as, as he was getting up, he would just kind of slide back to the corner as he was getting up. <laughs> but, Weirdo. 
Oh, but yeah, shit. Arkham Arkham City had no glitches like that. <laughs> like, no. There were other issues, but it was not that bad. Nothing that extreme. Like, it was ridiculous. I mean, uh, it's... <laughs> There's so much. So upsetting. Ridiculousness. It's so, it's so upsetting. That's how bad it is. I know. But that's why I powered through it, because I just wanted to get it done. And move on to Arkham Knight, the vastly superior game. It's funny, I have Arkham Origin, and I just literally cataloged it under the meh. I'm like, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I'll play the other yeah. ones, I'm not playing that one. On the plus side, it gave me lots of practice with that control scheme, so I should be, assuming Arkham Knight is pretty much the same controls, I should be well prepared for it now. And I'm pretty much over... Arkham Asylum. I'm probably just going to jump to Arkham Knight since it's more, you know, open. Arkham Knight, well, it's bigger. It's got the vehicles. and you drive around. It's like GTA, right? You it's choose more your like business. Batman GTA, yeah, from what That's I what I want. That's the game I want. That's what, yeah, exactly. That, just, every superhero game, just give me GTA superhero, and I can do things in that. Basically, yeah. Well, that's what I remember uh, when, when Stout and I played that one on... Uh, on yeah, uh, what the hell was Second Sun? No. What the fuck was that one where you're that zappy guy, the superhero, the open world one? Stoud. I don't know what. Infamous? What? Infamous? Yes, Infamous. That was it. Yeah, like Stoud. The way you described him, like, zappy what? The zappy guy <laughs> in the open world game, you know. <laughs> I've got those games. Infamous, yeah. I got. got Cardboard Infamous 1 and Cardboard Infamous 2. Oh, there you go. Download codes, I, got, I guess. Um, no, no, they're discs. They're just they're, the pack-ins for console, my console. Like, oh, I got. okay. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, at least you got the games. They're yeah. on disc. Um, yeah, no, I got... Uh, it was when PlayStation Network had that hacking incident or whatever it was. Or they were down for a while or something and they gave free games to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I got the first one also. I, I had it on... I think yeah. both Stout and I grabbed Infamous as the free game, or one of the free games. I think I got, yeah, I got Infamous, and um, I think that's where I got um, Super Stardust HD. Yeah, I went and I don't know, what was the other game I went with? Fuck. I went, I went with some other game. The 2011 remember. Hacking Incident, yeah. So I got Infamous, and uh, both Stout and I played it and thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually I, won Infamous 2 through, like, a Subway promotion. It's oh, the yeah. only time I've ever won anything. Oh, the second one. Promotion. Yeah, I haven't played the second one. But I played the shit out of the first one. I really enjoyed it a lot. And it, and it, was, got, it was like that. It was basically GTA Superhero. There was this part where you're on top of a train, and for some reason, and you had to, like, charge up the thing as the train was going. For some reason, I could not beat that mission. And so I just oh, really? gave up. Yeah, I gave it's, up. I don't, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I played it. I just remember having a lot of fun with it. I mean, I just, I kind of just gave up. And yeah. just fucking around. I did finish it, but, uh, and I, I can't remember if I did two runs. Like, I was doing one as a good run and one as an evil run. I know I did at least part of an evil run. Just, like, slamming down into the street and sending the pedestrians flying. Hey, and... <laughs> have a good day at work, buddy. All right, take Happy care, day, Duncan. Bye. Whatever you're doing, have thanks, a good day. Thanks for bro. the donos. He's an OG of ours. So. He is an OG. He's been around for a long time. See, Duncan demands. You must all drink it. tea or suffer my wrath. Well, I've been drinking coffee, so that's something. It's like tea it's all done now. Talk about. Stout, what game are you playing? Kralatin wants to know. You can tell you're playing a game. You're playing Animal Crossing, Sonic, aren't you? Sonic 2. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, wow. The original, like, OG Sonic 2? Nice. Yeah, I'm just playing on the Sega Classics Collection. Nice. Okay. I just felt like playing some OG games. Hey, Sonic 2 is one of the all-time greats. It's great stuff. I mostly just wanted to hear the music. What? I'm taunting the person who tried to promote themselves. Oh. Right. oh. What? That's some weird code or something. That was weird. It's you funny go flanges. People try to self promote in uh, yeah. Twitch all the time, and it's like 
Dude, what part of this do you not get? Every streamer you will ever meet on Twitch will tell you not to do that. Yes. There are exceptions. There are some do do it. Do that allow you to spam your links and shit, but there yes. are schools and no one goes there. Ever clicks on links. So yeah. what's the yeah, no one ever clicks on links in. Uh... And no, no one ever. No, that one. You, if when you go, hey, follow my channel. It's cool. Yeah, that <laughs> one was not a self promotion. He was just like, oh, okay, it was some kind That's of app. Insane. But, uh, but, but no, we do get that a lot. Like where people oh, come no in to self. That. My apologies, but still, promotion. we get a lot of self promotion. Yeah, my apologies. Where it's like, yeah, follow my channel. It's cool, and nobody ever does, because it's considered bad manners and i think it may even be against the tos to do that it is to in go fact, into someone's stream and start self-promoting no right. you do that but it wasn't self-promotion at least yeah okay Fair do enough. it uh you do it kind of organically by interacting with the stream and then if people like yeah. you as a person they might check your stream out too <laughs> yeah i mean you know, you've done you've done pretty good you've like yeah you, you like you've like Talk, talked about the fact that you stream, but you haven't really, Carlton. You have to delete Brinsley's joke message. <laughs> uh, like Brinsley's a streamer, yeah. you know. I mean, like, yeah. I think follow Colson's my, follow me. Streaming. I'm cool. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> he's done some streaming. Like yeah. he streams. I should say not some. He is a streamer. Excuse me. <laughs> you fuck. So it's like you know, we have streamers here, and I just gave a bunch of self promotion. I gave a bunch of promotion for those guys. There you go. You can go click on their names and chat by like, name dropping them. They've been here for a while. They've talked on and off about their streaming, and you know, uh, Funk Monk as well. Funk Monk is a streamer. Oh yeah, it's Funk Monk. My apologies, I didn't, yeah. didn't mean to forget. It's Funk Monk One, I think, here on Twitch. But you guys I'm know sure. him; he's here all the time. <clears throat> uh, he's my biggest fan, actually. Yeah, Funk Monk is awesome. He's he's been a, a oh, viewer. Are you here? Confirm if you are in fact my he's biggest fan. He's been a viewer on my uh, YouTube for like a long, long time, long ass time. Yeah, we mentioned worm disease. Like, I'm shocked Funk Monk's not here. It's like waking time in Britain. So am I. It may be because I gave him hell for self-promoting the other night. <laughs> really? Yeah, I did. What did he say? Oh, he was did just, you... he was saying, I stream. I was talking about streaming Arkham Knight next. He said, well, I already streamed it over on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, I'm like, dude, don't uh, do that. that. That's too far. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that's that. That's too far. Yeah, yeah. no, it's. And I there's that the line. You should, I always stream on my channel. Period. That's yeah. all I have to say. Yeah. That's it. That's the minute you request someone to go. That's yeah. The, that's the line, right? Yeah. But he, so. you, you explain. I'm not chastising anymore. Just yeah. saying. No, it's crossed the line. I explained it, and I said, you know, I was also tired. I may have explained it poorly and grumpily, yeah. but uh, they're, they're, the the names in chat. A little retro boy. He also does streaming. Little stuff. retro boy also does streaming. Yeah, he does more YouTube than streaming though. But, yeah, uh, he, he does. does he does. Stream he does do a little bit of streaming. Yeah, I, I I sometimes chill with him when he streams his coloring. You know. Yes, that's true. Yeah, he does some kind of chill chill streams. Yeah, you can just chillax. Yeah, but, uh, all good people. Major McCoke, are you a streamer? I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, and Viper Death played the streamer, yeah. I have a channel, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I watch a whole host of people. I'm in Sean's yeah. chat a lot without any sound because I'm doing other things and yes. I'm just moderating. He error that, he but. moderates the chat or just watches me fail a lot of video games. <laughs> I mean, watch you fail, I'm listening to you, though. It, yeah. I'm actually watching you, but... Yeah. But it's cool. always like I had you on my bonus monitor at the very least, so I can check. Like, no, nope, everyone's being cool. Yeah. Because occasionally, no mods looking, you know, and I'm like, oh fuck, I got to delete something. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Once in a blue moon, everyone just happened to be looking at another. Like, <laughs> like and someone's like spamming racist crap. I'm like, ah. Crelatin's just randomly disappeared for an hour again. Look, I didn't want to call out anybody. Me. But I'm just saying. So, Crelatin like, specifically Crelatin. is not watching when we're all assuming Crelatin is watching and being a mod <laughs> as we promoted Crelatin to be. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes like, how's it going, guys? Oh, you missed the troll again. I okay, yeah, well, no, he says, okay, guys, I'm back. I'm like, and we're all like, when did you leave? Oh, we thought you were here the whole time. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I used to say BRB and then just, I never come back. <laughs> yeah, you well, say maybe, BRB maybe. or AFK, like just oh, something, yeah. like anything. 
Let us know you're not no longer in mine because I'm gonna police the channel. Like, oh man, head. that was a hilarious moment in the game just now. I'm so glad Carlatin's here. I bet he's making a clip of it right now. And like three hours later, okay, I'm back. What? Dude, you missed so much stuff. And now I'm done. <laughs> what? You finished the game? Yes. You weren't watching? I thought you were just so enraptured by my incredible oh. performance that it rendered you speechless. <laughs> I mean, Bill's been for a long time. We're giving him shit. But, you know. I know. You do. It's all in fun. It's okay. It's all in jest, guy. Just and I still know. ban time out people when I see them. They may not be people who deserve it, but I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly yeah. ban people from the chat. Yeah, I misses donations. Yeah. Hey, I've accidentally banned the wrong person who's right right below and scratch cat scrolled like you son of a bitch. Yes, <laughs> I have as well. Or yeah, yeah I mean, but I usually I try to unban them right away. Always. Oh, if they're still but... in the chat, like you can do it. Um, I went through the ban list a little while ago and saw a few names on there, people that I knew that shouldn't have been banned, that uh, were wrongfully assumed to be trolls. But uh, it wasn't that they were trolls, they just have, you know, a little bit of difficulty communicating clearly can, sometimes. And I'm honest, I don't ever mean to be persecuted with that. It's, no. If that happens, he's just explained to Sean, I, yeah. I can't tell sometimes. Yeah. He'll tell me. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, no, and I, I knew that that's what had happened, so it was no big deal. Oh, right on. That was like, that's a good starting point for Shout Factory. Shout Factory. Oh, Howling, Halloween 2 and 3. Sweet. And they live. Yeah, no, those are all great. And you're very, uh, you're very welcome. I've got three steelbooks on order, actually. That's some great stuff. I've got Piranha, Forbidden World, and uh, Galaxy Terror. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I, think, I think Howling was actually one of the early Scream Factory ones I got. A viewer sent it to me. All four of those talked uh, talk about first wave, first year Scream Factory titles. So. Yeah. Starting with the old stuff, which is smart, because that's the stuff that's more likely to go out of print. That's the stuff that's, there. yeah. Exactly. Speaking of which, I need to get Deadly Blessing while I think about it. You reminded me. I Deadly Blessing, have. yes. I need to get it. Yeah, that's a fun one. I mean... I know I can get it from Arrow. It's still in print there, but I want the U.S. release actually. Slightly better. I don't lie. Twenty-two dollars. You fucking shitting me? Well, that's get, that's normal. Been out for like that's eight normal years. for the collector's items or collector's eight editions. Eight years. It should be like seventeen ninety-nine. Yeah, but this is Shout Factory. I know. If it's in print, it stays at regular price. Oh, we're going to get the arrow one. Don't get me started on fucking shit. <laughs> why I buy a lot of the ones on, on, on arrow because I can get them for $12 US. Wow. And then read, I have to have a region free player. That's the requirement, though, for a lot of it. So, I mean. Seriously, why is this taking so long to process? The Life Force Blu ray steelbook. Oh. I have the arrow release of Life Force. I want to get that steelbook though because it's got the new transfer, and I am a huge W. Hooper fan. I know. I'm just broke. I, I'm broke because I have been focusing on like other aspects of the like, collection. It's not. I have a Blu-ray, so it's not double dipping a Blu-ray is really hard for me to do. Yeah. I, I bought In the Mouth Madness, and they announced the Scream Factory Collector Edition, and I still haven't picked it up. I Same need that and, one. Yeah. Same with a bunch of them. I haven't double dipped. Just... Yeah, I don't have in the mouth of madness in any form right now. I I, I really want yeah. that uh, Scream Factory. I used to have the laser disc. This is where yeah, I listen to the really boring commentary track that I always go on about. <laughs> that is that a carpenter commentary? Is boring? Yeah. Well, carpenter. Okay, it's carpenter and the cinematographer, or the oh, or the director God. of photography oh, or whatever. Right. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. and they just go on and, and, this, and they just go on and on about lighting for two hours, and that sounds interesting to me actually. But it's not; it isn't because it's no. not discussed in an interesting way. <laughs> and Dad. the guy, it's and the guy has just no personality. He's just very lifeless and monotone, and you can Take hear it. Carpenter desperately trying to like pull interesting stories out of him, <laughs> and. Uh, it's like so. Uh, so I noticed you you uh, filmed this. Uh, we went with the two point three five to one cinemascope aspect ratio. So I understand that's uh, that that's your favorite aspect ratio, right? Yep. 
That's my favorite. <laughs> so, is there any yeah. particular reason that that's your favorite? Because uh, that's a really nice aspect ratio. You know, you get a nice, nice wide uh, screen. Yeah, a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just like uh, he's just trying, and especially coming Holy into this shit. after listening to the ones he's done with Kurt Russell and stuff, and how energetic and fun those are. I know. <laughs> he's trying to bring That's the same insane. energy and fun to this one, but the guy he's with talking to just has zero personality. Zero and... 10th anniversary sales. Something Monday, most likely. Which is why I think there's a second commentary track on there where it's him with somebody else. <laughs> um, which is only on the Shout Factory one, so... Yeah. So, are you going to be ready for that uh, Monday, Southman? What? Arrow 10th anniversary sale. Oh my fucking god! It's the last one for Black Friday. It's I the don't last have company. Jack shit money. No, no, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> You're like fuck. It's a, it's hey, a dude, dude. Sale. At least you've been able to do a couple of sales. I've been able to do anything. Yeah. Nothing. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, at least you're getting stuff. Doctor Terrace House of Horrors. Okay, it's twenty three bucks. In Canada, I believe Arrow is older than that as a company, but they weren't doing physical media releases for a good portion of the previous. Oh, like, it's so bad. They were doing like, CDs. They were doing like theatrical showings as a as their startup. You Not know, like, eligible they, for Amazon Prime. Ugh. Oh, bummer. Ugh. All right. How much is it on <clears> Amazon.com? <throat> do I have anything in my gift card balance? Let's I don't think here. I do. You should check what uh, can I cancel? how well your thing is doing. What can I cancel? Because uh, I've seen a lot, of people, a lot of things popping up and saying people buying for your Amazon. Oh, the, uh, the Amazon, yeah, no, a lot of people have it. I really appreciate that, guys, because uh, <coughs> when you buy stuff through those Amazon links, uh, they pay me in gift cards. So that translates directly into stuff I can buy on Amazon, which I can then talk about in updates and reviews and do group viewings with you guys and whatnot. So... Um, <coughs> You'd be really great at Piranha. Push back. Did you push back? Oh, no. I think Piranha's in my mailbox. Oh, no. It's right here. No. Oh, it's arriving Tuesday. My the the, there we go. <clears throat> nope. Can't cancel that. There's a lot. There, I've got a lot of um, stuff sitting in pre-orders from uh, the past yeah. month. So once those... Oh. So, I mean, that means that, you know, that's stuff that will sell... I'll get money for eventually when Fuck. the things are released. <laughs> but, um... The Arrow... Arrow American Horror Box set. American Horror Project Volume 2 comes out this month. That's the big expensive thing. Mm -hmm. That's why it looks like I have money. I don't yeah. actually have money. Oh, okay. The Piranha set? Piranha's already in the mailbox. I can't cancel it. Okay. But I can cancel New York Ripper and American Horror Project, which would give me a hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, there's a few uh, few things that have come through on Amazon there, but um... go to July. Let me cancel something here, and I will put the you know, eighty dollars American Horror Project. I don't think I have anything in the gift card balance right now. If I can do that to next month. No, there's nothing there. Cancel this, please. Cancel this, please. Check. Cancel. Cancel check items. Yeah, see, I don't want to miss that one. Oh, shit. It's 17 bucks on Amazon. Oh, no. It ends up being about the same. Uh... So is it a UK sale or is it a US sale? It's going to be a UK sale. You're gonna okay. you're gonna be importing from the UK. It's gonna be super cheap. The conversions in our favor. That's just it, yeah. That's why I'm like, like, well, I, I guess maybe I'll do something. Oh, you weird. motherfucker! You don't cock tease me like that. <laughs> I, if I do, it's not gonna be enough money to get you shit, man. That's what I'm trying to say. So you are shipping, motherfucker. <sighs> Sean, I'm sending I'm a UK blue money. of the thing. Cool. I will add it to my collection of. Blu-rays of the thing. It's different. Can you play UK Blue or DVD skin? Yes, he can. I can't. I can only play them if they're region free. But, uh... 
Skin Slip has a region free player, as does Stout Man, so they can both play. We have the same player, in fact. And yeah. so does Blue Dwarf. Blue Dwarf has the same yeah. deck. They can all play red. stuff from any region. I and can... when Sean finally gets off his ass and buys one, I'll give him the link to Because I totally have $100 to spare. Anyway. Someday you will. Yeah. Like, someday you know, I will. But anyway. Yeah. Um, I can play a DVD so I, from any region. That's not fine because I just rip them to the computer and it strips out the region coding. Uh, Blu rays, however, I can only play if they're region free. So That's why I got the steelbook of the Scream Factory version of the thing was because it had the arrow transfer included but in region a so i could actually watch it so you will cancel hollywood also get that next month yeah. all right we're gonna cancel that i really wanted to get that i'm like four releases behind in fucking agfa titles i'm super bummed about that yeah because they're expensive they're like 20 bucks a pop uh, and they're not like the best movies all the time. So, like, so I think I covered all the versions of the thing that I have on Blu-ray in my recent closer look video, including the uh, duplicates. So I would assume you've seen that, and that's why you're sending me a, yet another version <laughs> to add to the collection. Always appreciated. Oh, okay. That ultimate perfect blue, I just... You can't, uh, can't afford it. I'm bummed about that. I wanted to add that to my collection for a long fucking time. New York Ripper, that's what I need to remove. All right, New York Ripper, where are you? I have to cancel you, and I'm going to have to pay $35 for fucking New York Ripper. That's what's going to happen right now. I'm literally canceling, canceling New York Ripper and going to pay a whole $12, $13 more in... A month or four months or whatever, whenever I finally get it, because I need to get the arrow sale. Oh, everyone got quiet. He left. I see. <laughs> Maybe. Toko. Oh, yeah, it looks sexy. I mean, I love... I I mean, I have UK sets right here. Look, I've got the Sinbad set. You know? I've got... Uh, can I show this cover? Some of these covers have nudity. Yeah, okay. I've got some 88 Films titles. I just recently got a Cyborg Cop trilogy from E1 Entertainment out of... Uh, the Netherlands. I was like, Dutch land. That's not a place. Uh, the Netherlands. That's what it's called. Oh, here's yeah, the, the Dutch land. I love that place. And I'm Dutch, so like, I, I don't offend me. Deutsch. I I got this German Blu-ray of Force Five. I actually don't know if this is in English. I meant I forgot to check. Yeah, it's got English. Some of the releases you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with some releases. They don't actually have the English track. You really have to read. I mean, I love, I love movies. So. I know it's, I know Shameless, I have a few Shameless releases. I've got uh, The Church and The Sect, which I thought I had The Sect up here, but I, oh, I do. I, oh, here we go. Yeah. I got, the, I got The Sect, see? In the yellow case from Shameless. I got The Church, because I, I don't like buying Code Red titles. I don't like people who run Code Red. I don't like the anti-Semitism and homophobia that comes or has come from the past from Code Red, the people who run it. So I decided to boycott their products. So I only buy them secondhand. So I have a few Code Red titles, and they have all they paid a premium. So I won't give them money directly. Deutschland. That's not how it's spelled. Just so you know, Crowlton, I hate to tell you. You fucked it all up. Uh, I'll just leave that open for a little bit. Is that an insect or a fluff? It's a fluff. Okay. But yeah, you know. I'm like really bummed I missed the uh, uh, Arcana Complete Collection. 
Uh, I missed the the Blood Island trilogy collection from Severin. I'm gonna end up missing the Hemisphere Horrors box set from collection from Severin. Like uh, I'm missing a bunch of limited editions. I just I can't. I don't have enough money to go around. Yeah. You know? Too much good stuff. Too much. Too little money. The too problem, many limited editions. So. And the problem of having eclectic tastes. You just want everything. I have very eclectic taste. Yes. It's very strange. And I, and and I'm running out of room on my watch shelf. I have. Maybe two, three, four, four slots, maybe? I have four slots. And I can fit a few movies <laughs> sideways. So I can fit maybe like ten more movies in this. And then I can start watching movies. I've been watching them anyway, but I mean, I got to really get diligent about clearing some space before I add <laughs> to the collection. Yeah. Run out of space over there. I'm starting to fill boxes. I mean, oh, so Annette is going to sell the stuff for me. She's, uh, what? Stuff? the dvds oh okay cool yeah she's uh doing a run uh clearing out some of their stuff so she said well i'm going down anyway did you want me to do that for a cut i'm like sure whatever that's fine as long as it's a small cut <laughs> as long as you don't feel ripped off every fine no uh, i mean i know it's, i'm gonna be ripped off anyway just because it's that but whatever i mean money's money right yeah it's care. less work for you. It's less work for me, and because uh, I mean, I got so much editing to do now. Holy shit! Um, I've got to do. Yeah. So this week, for those who uh, want to stop by for my editing streams, uh, I'm going to be editing a lot of the Batman playthroughs this week. Uh, the editing streams are pretty chill. We basically just sit, I edit, we chat about geeky things, and argue about whatever the <laughs> argument is that day. Instead of arguing, see the editing. That's right. And you can actually see my editing process. So essentially what I'm doing at this stage is I'm still editing. I have both Vegas Pro 14 and 15. Both got through that Humble Bundle deal. And um, I have them both on the computer. So um, Vegas 15 seems to be a bit of a CPU hog and it doesn't scrub as cleanly as Vegas 15. I don't like it. Vegas 14, sure. which is annoying because um, I actually like some of the new features that they added, and I would like to use it for editing. But I, don't I bet you would be fine in 16. Even numbers, man. I don't I'm have a powerful you. enough system, but it's the I one. Know. Yeah, it's probably There's six. In the craft all the time. 16 is probably the better one. But the thing, the big thing with 15 is that's the one that Magic's uh, fully redesigned after oh, getting yeah. the license from Sony, so or buying it from Sony. So 14 was the last kind of uh, Sony one with the old engine, I guess. And then 15 is the newer one. It's, and then I, I uh, gotta say, but how it's been with the Sony or with the and under Sony is all the even ones are the good ones. And the odd ones are the ones that are fucky. The 13 yeah. cracked all the fucking time. Yeah. All the fucking time. I it was so frustrating. See, I went I got, from. I was literally just doing vlogs without having to edit because I was tired of it crashing every five minutes. I See, I, I went from uh, 12 to 14, so I actually skipped 13. Yep. Um, Good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the minute 14 was on Humble Bundle the other year, I was like, why? So, so maybe, yeah, when 16, uh, 16 will likely come out in a Humble Bundle whenever 17 Next comes year. out. So Next year. So I'll get, uh, I'll grab it then and I'll be sure to post the link for you guys as well. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, basically what I've been doing is uh, I, I do notice that 15 does have a better rendering engine. So, uh, and it does recognize the project files from 14. So what I've been doing is editing in 14 and then importing everything over to 15 to do the bulk, uh, the, the uh, batch rendering. So, mm -hmm. and then just leave it chugging away rendering for two days, you know. So I think this time what I'll do is I have another batch of Arkham City to do, so I'm probably going to do that and then um, do the thumbnails before I start the rendering just so those are done. And then uh, and then just batch render and upload them as they're done. Um, I'm a few episodes ahead with that, so as long as I get a couple episodes in the can by Wednesday, then, uh, then we're still on schedule for those. I'm not sure what you mean by bulk record, Viper Death Blade. Like, you mean record a lot of game footage and then edit it. I think, yes, the answer oh, is usually yes. like eight hours. Yes. Well, because currently on YouTube, you're seeing my playthrough of Arkham City, and you're only five episodes into that. 
that game is done, and it's been done for a few weeks. Um, the total playthrough is going to be around 30-ish episodes. So th even the videos are barely made a dent in the amount of footage. I also have all of Arkham Origins, which will be about another 30 or so parts. And all of Blackgate, which is probably going to be about seven or eight parts, I'm thinking. So um, Less parts. It's a shorter, much shorter game. You're going about... to get so few views in the last couple parts. I'm thinking less parts is good. Five parts. Yeah. Go for five parts. Yeah. I might Not just, even uh... kidding. Well, and also with, uh, um, with Blackgate, I'm going to be cutting down some parts. Uh, Origins, I'm going to be cutting down some parts. Um... Yeah, oh, I know. So. Well, it's not so much recording 20 videos in one go. It's it's just playing as much of the game as I can in one go. And then how many videos that ends up being depends on what kind of game it is. Like He so, does record reviews sometimes one after the other when he does like movie reviews. Yeah, yes. well, yeah when I do movies, uh, like reviews or closer looks, whatever, I'll usually do like four or five at a time like, so you can actually watch me film them as well. So yep. I'll film them and then edit them and then stuff like that. You know soon, after he gets through all his game edits, he's got a bunch of Batman shit to review. Yes, I've got a bunch of Batman ones to do. And then avoiding uh, my editing instead, which is still work at least. Yes, I mean, I've been doing something. I figure yeah. Batman, I'm not going to kill myself work, over. Work. It's basically just do it over the course of the summer, as long as they're done before Halloween. Um but I want to get uh, I want to get the filming at least done for the Batman stuff uh, and watch the last few movies before the end of this month, um, and then start filming Halloween stuff. So starting next month, we're probably going to do some group viewings of some Halloween stuff anyway, not all of it, but um, some of them. We'll be watching. Uh, what are we watching Tuesday, dude? Tuesday. Uh, I don't know. What? Skip. Much. We skip too much. We gotta, we gotta, we can't skip this week. We can't what? We, we skip too often. We need, we need to keep make sure we do it at least this week. Yes, I know. Um, well, this week coming up, um, uh, assuming I get the latest batch of Batman ones filmed, I, I'm hesitant to watch more stuff before I've got the actual reviews filmed because yep. then I'm just gonna get buried. Um, exactly. So if I get the batch filmed, I'd like to uh, at least do Batman versus Two Face to uh, get that one done, and then I can do both of those. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So that's... Whoa! Holy moly! Whoa! Kablamo! Holy shit balls, Batman! Thank you so much, Truly Goober. Round of applause. Wow! <laughs> you rock! Dude. Holy moly! You just made all those Skyrim videos worth it. That was. <laughs> I'm so glad someone loves the Skyrim videos because honestly, I love that <laughs> game so much. I'm having so much fun doing it, and uh, yes, uh, I hope this helps a bit. Love Skyrim playthroughs and the closer looks. Keep it up. Uh, yeah, some good news on the Skyrim videos. There's so much. So that's another one I need to do more of. But uh, at this point in time, I've actually got up to episode 75 uh, uploaded, scheduled, ready to go. Um, so enjoy. <laughs> there's lots more Skyrim. Basically, all the way up to the end of August, uh, there's Skyrim videos every weekend. And then I've still got probably 60 hours worth of footage, if not more, that I haven't even edited yet. So there's... You probably have uh, not that much uh, Conan footage to edit, too. There's a lot more. There's a lot more Conan stuff. I don't know when I'm going to get to editing that. Uh, Skyrim is basically the one that I, I want to stay consistent with, because I know that uh, a lot of the people yeah, who... Man who do watch them, really enjoy them. And I really enjoy playing it. I really enjoy... Um, I just love the game. And, you know, even though I'm hella late to that party, but I'm I'm really enjoying it. And glad you're enjoying the playthroughs. Uh, and the Closer Looks is actually... Uh, there's a bunch of Closer Looks uh, I'm working on. Um, there's going to be quite a few over the course of Halloween. I've got... Uh, Halloween's going to be September, October, of course. So it's going to be um, a bunch there. And there's a few I wanted to do for uh, the summer of Batman as well. I figured to, you know, pull a few things off the shelf and, you know, show some of the comics, show some of the movies. And, so sad um, I had to all those pre-orders. I might do, actually, I was going to do, uh, I was talking about when I did the reviews of the movies, uh, doing a closer look just at the Batman anthology set. And I might talk a little bit about the 4K set that's uh, coming out. Probably not going to upgrade 
right away, but uh, the one thing that's interesting or exciting to me is the fact that they all have new transfers, apparently. Um, so to have better transfers of the first two in particular is attractive to me. <laughs> so um, yeah. I'll at least mention them. But I figured I'd do at least a closer look at what I have, because I have the the Blu-ray set and, of course, the uh, the digital book of the first one, which is really nice. And um, it'd be a nice kind of capper. I that thing. podcast that on, on fucking, it's like three hours on fucking The Batman Returns Alone. Oh, they interviewed a bunch of the the, crew, the cast and crew and stuff? Yeah, you're going to want to listen to that. Nice. Song. I'll have to, uh, yeah, I'll have to give yeah, that a listen. I downloaded it. You're okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. And, uh, so I'm like, I went and downloaded like, every episode of, that was cool to me of uh, the uh, production booth because they yeah. basically make like one to four to five to six hours on Conan the Barbarian. Oh, wow. Uh, podcast, like super in depth. Every fucking thing. They interview yeah. every person they can get on, every single person. Nice. They interview fucking grips. Third grip, second unit. Nobody nice. fucking knows. Is, you know what I mean? Like, but they've got stories and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. No, that's awesome. Everything they can get, snippets from uh, documentaries, everything. I mean, like <laughs> the Batman and Robin 4K. I'm all about Batman and Robin in 4K, man. Yeah, no. I I watched. Okay, I watched that twice this year. Once for with uh, uh, we did a group viewing here on Twitch, and then again. Because uh, Rosie had never seen any of the 90s ones, so we were watching the whole set. I actually have a couple of videos of uh, Rosie giving her thoughts on the 90s movies. Uh, those are edited and rendered and ready to go. It's basically just kind of off the cuff. I asked her some questions. What would you think about this? What would you think about that? And then she gave her thoughts. And she had some interesting things to say, actually. Very insightful kid, i got to say. Very proud daddy. I don't know how you do those videos, by the way. Which? The, uh... the interviews with Rosie. Oh, the Rosie ones, yeah. She likes to do like those, huh? I really like that style. Yeah. Well, she she likes to uh, do them, sort of like uh, interviews, like mm -hmm. uh, where I ask her questions and then she answers the questions. So she she feels most comfortable with that rather than just sitting down and babbling about the movie like I do. But because uh, then when I ask her the questions, you know, it prompts her to say, you know it sort of kicks off other thoughts that she has related to that. And then it just kind of, you know, we get her thoughts out that way. <laughs> but, uh, um, need somebody to like spark her. Yeah. Thoughts. Just you to know? kind of get her moving. Like there was so, when she was talking about, uh, we were talking about Batman returns and Catwoman. She had some theories about the scene where she, the cats are reviving her. And, uh, I thought it was kind of an interesting take on that. Oh, and uh, so she she had some thoughts there, and I and she had told me about that while we were watching it. And uh, so when I asked her about it, she says, "Yeah, at first I thought like the cats were eating her, and then I I realized <laughs> no, they're, they're reviving her." To be fair, and then uh, and I said, "Oh yeah, you said you you had like an interesting theory about about that <laughs> something about you know if they were nine. It's like, oh yeah, I thought maybe they were giving her their nine lives." I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And then she expanded on that and I kind of gave her um, thoughts on where, where she had that idea. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's it's fun. And I definitely, uh, I enjoy doing those and so does she. And they're just kind of off the cuff. And, you know, I fire up the camera. And it's like, let's talk about this movie we just watched. Like, okay, ask me some questions. And then, oh, uh, and I can't wait till you get back to Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, I got to get back to that one of I these love days. Yeah, so do I. Well, and, and Red Dead is like Spaghetti Western, the game. You know, I have 20, 20 unwatched Spaghetti Westerns on this shelf. I'm oh, not fucking kidding. I've got, dude, I've got so many. Like, between. That's I've, not the box set. That's just Blu ray. Yeah, no, you got more on Blu ray than I do. I've only got a handful on Blu ray. But. Uh, I'm picking up here and there for cheap. But I've got all those uh, Mill Creek sets that they put out, which, uh, you know, helped us to discover a lot of those uh, great. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Sort of obscure movies. And um, Great chunk of these are actually on those sets, honestly. Yeah, I know. It's um, I I still really want the Blu-ray of uh, Death Rides a Horse. So that one is oh. so good. Well, I saw I've seen that one. So that's on the that's on the, uh, it's that's around in the collection somewhere. But uh, it's over in the collection alphabet. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's so so much stuff that uh, so little time, so little money. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm really cheap about it. I just I'll lowball bit people on eBay. Yes. 
a dirty son of a bitch. Well, oh, that's a thirty dollar limited edition, ten dollars. Yeah, I'll eventually get back to Red Dead Two. I'm not sure when. Um, I think as far as the playthroughs go, that's gonna stay uh like a Twitch slash Patreon exclusive, just because I already have so many massive games that I'm chopping up into YouTube episodes. Like I just don't have the time to chop them all up. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I mean I had that in pre order too. The sheer, the, the sheer volume of stuff that I play, uh, there's just no way I can do them all for YouTube. But uh but also coming up, uh, actually next up as far as gameplays go here on Twitch, uh, looking to get into some more horror games because I need to do some horror games for uh, to fill out the rest of the Halloween schedule. Yeah. So you gotta, gotta finish your Batman shit first, though. Oh, I know Batman stuff comes first, and then uh, there's not too much of that left. I've got really. I'm basically just Batman. thinking. I'm just gonna go up <laughs> to. The, I'm just gonna go up to the end of the Nolan movies, and then call it a day there, and then. Um, I think you should not do the Nolan. Just har- let people let people keep harassing you about it. <laughs> I mean, just don't. Do I them. think you already. The thing is, you already. You don't need to watch them because you already know what you think about them. Kind of, but the thing is, pretty... the, the thing is, I, I'm. The, those thoughts are all based on me having watched them like a decade ago. Like I kind of want to oh, rewatch yes, them true. and see if maybe some of my thoughts it's have different. changed. You know, yeah. I mean, a lot's changed with me and with my life in the past decade. So um, I may think differently about them. Maybe I will love them now. Who knows? I don't love them, but I don't hate any of them. Yeah. I mean, they're all dumb. No, I, I mean, pay for Dark Knight Rises, but. Yeah, I already, I played Outlast. You not Batman. Like, yeah, so fucking what? Sometimes he matches Malone. Sometimes he's fucking <laughs> the same character. Yes, I started, I did uh, Outlast, and I did Outlast Whistleblower. Uh, those were a couple of Halloweens ago. Um, I started Outlast 2. Um, I have not got back to it yet. I it's will. Too I will eventually. <laughs> it's too scary. Right. Actually, it, pussy. actually, it was pretty fucking scary. I will say that. I know. I remember you fucking practically screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While well, and you commenting, it's like he's gonna run out of battery for his fucking camera like so fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's and like, it's you? dark, okay? I can't see anything, and I'm scared. Yeah, and you panic about the dark. You're, like, obsessive about being yeah. able to see everything, so... It's because, like, you, the, the sound design of that, man, like, you hear things all around you, and it's just, ugh. Those are I so good. I know. Uh, oh, the Alien I'm Isolation not- playthrough. Yes, that that is... My oh my kind of, that is my kind of scary game because, I mean, I love the Alien movies, especially the first one. Like, I think they really just nailed it with that one as far as... Did you see the DLC for that yet? I started. Um, well, I, I, maybe I, you can do that this year for Halloween. Uh, maybe. I've as already your got... Live as your uh, live playthrough. Yeah, I've nice. already got a lot of things. I've got, uh, uh, well, of course, Resident Evil 7 is coming for, like, that's one of the big showcase games for this Halloween no, I'm not talking about for this Halloween. I'm talking about you play live on your channel. Yeah, this I know what you're talking about. I'm just, I'm just saying what some of the other things I'm doing are. Um, mm-hmm. I have the DLC levels for Resident Evil 7 to play. Okay. That's something I still need to do. Um, I got all of those. They were on sale a little while ago. The Halloween I DLC, man. Grab the whole set. Um, what other DLC can you play? <laughs> there's, <laughs> yeah, right. uh, it's the Alien Isolation DLCs, which I don't actually have on PC. I've only got it on PS3. Um, ideally, I want to play the I want to play the PC version, so it's you know looks a little. Do you nicer. have the Friday the Thirteenth game? Ah, uh, yes, I believe. Yeah. Do you have it, Skin Slip? I know no. we all played it. We all played the beta version of it, but that did Correct. not carry over to the full version. You have to actually buy well, the full version. I mean, if someone wants to bequeath me a copy, I'm generously thank I accept it. So we can play. I, so I remember we had a lot of fun with the beta of that, and even, even if we don't do that for YouTube, if we just play it like just as a stream, you know. I already have it. So yeah, I, I'm I pretty sure I have it as well. Let, let me just check. I here. don't. Do not. <laughs> I will check and see. I I'm the poor think, bitch here. Sorry. I think I have it. Yeah, Major Metal said he gifted it to you. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Um. I know. Here. You get to get you get to get, get the games by him a lot, actually. I, yes, actually, Major Metalco is one of my biggest benefactor for games, for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, Major Metalco is awesome like that. 
Christmas here. Why am I, I not seeing it here? Was that him? I don't. Yeah, it was. I don't yeah. actually see it here. He hooked me up with Tales of Symphonia just like earlier this month. Is it still on, on, uh... And I'll be playing on stream at some point. It's just called Friday the 13th, the game, right? Like, why well, I'm yeah. not seeing it in my library here. Uh-oh. What? Are you sure uh -oh. it's not just, uh... I'm looking at my full list. I'm not seeing it in the list. Is it check your inventory? Make sure you're just not, like, a gift. You've got hit gift instead of, um... You can also library. just do a search and type... Friday in there, it should come up. It's there, on the Friday It's still on Steam, so it still exists. Okay, let me just, uh... No, I mean, go to your library, and at the top there's a search part, you can type in Friday. Yeah. Yes, I'm Hold on. I'm doing that. Hold on a second. I could have sworn no. I had it. <sighs> Friday. Nothing. I check your inventory on your inventory page, under your, you highlight your name. And click go to inventory. Inventory. And you have to make sure you oh, don't have yeah. any games as a gift. Oh, inventory. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's. Uh... If you click down the. Uh... How does this work? Steam. Oh, Steam items. You can. All Steam items. Oh, man. Is that not, that's not how it goes? I can't remember. Mm. Oh, Major Patoko says it was a Humble Bundle gift link. Oh, you never oh. claimed it. Oh, email. You gotta search your email for it. Oh shit. Okay, hold or on. If it was sent to you by email, it might have been sent to you on or Discord. on whatever thing. Yeah. Or on email. Discord. Oh crap. You know what? That's probably what it was. So I, if I you never, find uh, it, send it to him again, Major Knuckles. I never definitely not the claim. <laughs> I'm just searching here for. Uh, <laughs> You again if it's not been claimed you know? you that's be able to true share. yeah you just resend the the link uh, obviously mm -hmm. i never claimed it then if it's sitting there i'm usually right on top of oh here we are hold on you may have been busy with the street live stream or something there we go okay they want to have a little gift link here we go okay let's see lucky you a friend sent you a thingy yeah excellent uh, i know there you go claim Order complete. Please check your email. Okay, here we go. There you go. Now oh, we got it. Silly me. Why did I not? The poor bastard at it. <laughs> your humble gift is ready. Here we go. Get your you gift. Don't say. Reveal your key. There we are. Hey, look at that. Wow, how long ago was that? <laughs> Halloween? Probably. <laughs> I'm guessing. A year ago? <laughs> Almost. Or maybe it's only like six months ago then. Paste. Right? Next. Friday the 13th, the game. Finish. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Everyone point and laugh at him. Now it's in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. Cyrus. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. What the hell was that? Stuttering Stanley. Stuttering Stanley. Sorry. August 2018. Literally a year ago. Holy shit. <laughs> Did I claim these other ones? Let me let me just double check. Make sure I claimed these other ones. <laughs> he sent me a few... Uh, Right, you here. are a bad person. Apparently. What an ungrateful bastard I am. Holy shit. Okay, so there was a Cyrus New Dawn was another one. And... Okay, yeah, I claimed that one. All right. What you need to do, Z, here's what you need to do. For your next emote, you need to take a hot side shot with your thing hand in your face. Or like a three-fourth shot. <laughs> You can have a face palming emote. And, se face and seven days to die. That one I'm sure I did. Oh, Viper, I definitely stream. I stream yes, there almost it is. every day. Okay, so yeah. that was the only one I had, I had overlooked, oh, apparently. Thanks, Rolf. I forgot I had that. God. Yeah, dude, right now I, I have like all these oh, streams. I'm, I'm, I spent money on Blu rays instead of buying a capture device again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Welcome to this, my life. Poor decisions with uh, I have ADHD, so it's really hard for me to save money. Like I have a yeah. debilitatingly bad ADHD. 
I don't. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I've got three streams going on. I got this this live stream. I get to hang out. And I got my friends stream over here, and I'm paying attention to everything. I know. I frequently frequently flip over to Twitter and the Discord all day long. That's what I'm doing. Oh. There was a Mad Max. Oh, he gave you Mad Max. I have Mad Max. That's a good game. Mad Max, Max, I know I claimed that one. Um, Is there multiplayer for that? Because that'd be fun. Let me double check <laughs> and make sure I did claim it. I'm sure I did, though. I know I claimed that one, but let me double check. Just in <laughs> case, I don't know what I know. Uh, Mad Max, yeah, there it is. I see it. We're good. That one looks fucking amazing at the highest settings. Like, oh my god. It's amazing. Also... Viper, I am on YouTube. Yes. Here you go. Wow, look at this guy self-promoting over hey, here. Hey, <laughs> a little different. You to didn't be I fair, didn't announce my title a lot. It was to be asked. fair, Sean does have the geeky crew there and everything like... Right, but even you know. so, even so, if I'm in a chat, right, and links are allowed to be posted with permission, like, I should be allowed to post a link to you specifically if you request it. That's not promotion. That's me giving you a link that you requested. Now, most chats say you should probably put that in a PM. Fair enough. But fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of self promote here. I'm, I'm on the stream in this case. It's a little different. Wow. I don't know, Skin Slip. That's very uncouth. I don't let anyone post links to my channel when I'm not on a stream. No. Bear. And I, uh,. Also, if anybody ever reads the descriptions for Saturday Night in Sandy, I, I put the links to these guys' stuff in the description. Um, I got called out by a viewer once, like, I didn't even know these guys had a YouTube channel. How come you never mentioned all of your friends? Well, it was a really, like, snarky kind of response. It's like, because I, I assumed everybody knew. But, okay, I'll put it on. Like, it's okay. Yeah. And I just added them to the description. It wasn't a big deal. I wasn't like purposefully neglecting them. <laughs> wow, Sean, how dare you purposefully neglect? I know. Us. What an asshole. Oh, look at that <laughs> revenue sharing because of that fucking song in the trailer, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, at uh, least it was just the revenue share. No. Yeah. Ah, We're populace. blocking this entire video. Your, yeah. your, your title needs to be something about a fetus, though. Oh my god, there's a fetus! That's <laughs> trailer, trailer reaction or something. I don't know. I think it should be something about how I love Animal Crossing and I will fucking kill you. <laughs> really, Goober, I love wrestling. In fact, every Sunday, I usually run a fire pro wrestling stream i have been neglecting it because i've been neglecting all my streaming because i was in a press hole for like a month it happens from time to time i called it don't kick my fetus <laughs> don't kick my fetus <laughs> <laughs> what i love about that is when you th what i love about the whole and what's funny uh, is the thumbnail shows captain canada <laughs> that picture oh, that's of, perfect, actually. That goes really well with that's Don't really Kick My Fetus. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with fetuses? <laughs> it's so random. I just go leave it. Whatever. I love it. No, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's so random. It's perfect. Uh, but, uh, what I love yeah, about right. the whole Animal Crossing thing is that usually when you think of people who like Animal Crossing, you don't think of somebody violent. So, violently defending it, saying oh, <laughs> it's this game. peaceful, chill game for mobile so, devices. Uh, Don't really, you fuck with my in game. our Discord? <laughs> in our Discord, uh, I actually I curate like probably three to ten wrestling links a day into yes. that channel. I'm constantly posting interesting shit. I'm constantly finding interesting shit. That's right. I'm a huge fan of wrestling. I watch a lot of independent stuff, but. I don't watch WWE stuff right now. It's <sighs> not my thing. True, yeah. Uh, Skin Slip is a massive wrestling fan, lifelong wrestling fan, but has. I love the art. I'm I'm like fascinated with um, carny art. So like yeah, like wrestling, uh, burlesque, you know, these kind of like weird arts, of stand up comedy stuff that like started out, in, like and like just this weird art 
space and is now whatever it, you know like a, a sketch comedy like that's a that's a that's a there's an art to that you know mm-hmm. i appreciate these things for these kind of things for these yeah. kind of art for sure <clears throat> for sure man for sure oh i love wwf stuff old school stuff like old school love stuff, that yeah. stuff don't get me wrong yeah, I even used to watch some of that. My my friends were really some of my friends were really into it in the eighties, so I would tune in occasionally and check out some of the stuff with the old school wrestlers. And whenever I find something that's just too good that Sean has to see, I get I have to do a donation and he will watch. <laughs> that's right, he pays me to watch wrestling clips. That's right. <laughs> and to be hey, fair, have... the ones you know. he's he's he sends with that are usually quite interesting and different. You know, it's not you know like there's that one you sh- sent me about shoot matches, which was uh, which was really funny. It was about this this guy. Well, it was a guy. The great like, Antonio versus the great the, the, the against Antonio Inoki. Great was, Antonio, was a Turkish wrestler. Yeah, I know all about this, by the way. Who is? Uh, but the thing that was great about it, it was this guy basically just telling the story of what happened in this match, uh, overlaid on top of footage of the actual match that he's describing so you could see everything happening as he's telling this story and like giving kind of the background of it and what was actually going on and it was amazing like it was just yeah i mean i loved it because it's like great antonio at some point he decides when he gets out there he doesn't want to work with antonio antonio no he doesn't understand the lingo or something there's something here they're missing there's misconnection and great antonio i guess he thinks he's they're gonna he's the good he's gonna go over or something but yeah it was never gonna happen it's Tony Noki, right he's the godfather of fucking Japanese wrestling yeah he's well, the one way, of the great pillars of the Japanese wrestling who yeah. brought wrestling the way to where I like now. the way the the guy was describing them physically it's like this this one guy is just this big hairy fat guy you know slob I yeah, believe this big hairy, hairy slob. slob and then this the other guy he looks you know. like a freaking movie star. Like he's got he the was, square actually. jaw, and he's like he's he's totally ripped, and yeah. He's also being a politician, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, he's he. It was a, he was a very very handsome man. He still, I assume, he's very handsome for his yeah. age. I don't. I so, him. like the the whole story yeah. was that he was like, you know, I mean, they're trying to do the the show. You know, it's like I'll, I'll go to, to work. Guy. I'll go to punch you. You sell the punch. Then you go to punch me. I'll sell the punch, and then we'll you know do this little dance and make it fun for everybody. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but the other guy, the the slob guy, was just not selling anything. Nope, and, there's no selling. They call it. And was just just yeah. fucking with the other guy. And finally, the other guy just had enough, and like legit beat the living fuck out of him. <laughs> and he starts off. Right? He starts off working. He's working. He's trying so hard to work with him, and nothing's happening. And then he just goes fucking. He, just, he fucking slaps him so hard the taste flies out of his mouth. Yeah. And Grand Antonio just confused, and the kid tries to no sell it. And, and Inoki goes no. The fucking starts just just goes off on him. Just starts wailing on him at that point. <laughs> yeah. So sell, no sell real punches now. He just fucking just. Just wrecks him. Knocks just him fuck fucks him up. Yeah. He needs to kick the fuck out of his face yeah. while he's knocked out. Yeah. yeah, it's a great Bill Burr segment where he's talking from his podcast about watching this video. Mm-hmm. Just fucking brilliant. Yeah. So he said. So Skinsip sent me the clip of this where it was the two. It was the Bill Burr podcast mixed with footage of the actual match, and it was just amazing to watch. It. Have you seen wrestling? Isn't wrestling? No. Would you be willing to watch it? It's that, a possibly at some point. Okay. Not right now. I had to, it's not YouTube anymore because uh, Max Landis is persona non gratis for being a, apparently a trash human being. Oh, I, mean, uh, you know, gotcha. I knew who he was. I, everyone knew who he was. Yeah. Kind of, he's kind of touchy. Yeah. You'd say he was getting better, but apparently he's not. Anyway, it's just, no, it's just kind of the point. Anyway. All other story. <laughs> he, all account, it's all, he just, he's, he scrubbed himself off. So. Yeah. He chose to, so. Oh, he, oh, he took his YouTube off? Yeah, he took everything down because it was just, it was just, Oh, uh, nothing but yeah, because of yeah. yeah well, I mean, you know, he did kind of bring it upon himself by being not the greatest. Human well, yeah, but. exactly. I mean, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. So just don't be a trash human being. Karma is a fucking bitch, and so. she don't take credit. Yeah, <laughs> cold hard catch, motherfucker. Yeah, I gotta clean um, my mind. I do not, um, and skin slip does not either anymore. Uh, nope, I canceled it after the, after WrestleMania. I buy it only for WrestleMania at this point. 
and I get my three months free. I'm actually just, I actually haven't canceled it yet. I have to cancel it in two weeks. Okay. And, uh, I just haven't been watching it because I don't care. I watched the Tom McGee match documentary because that was like a slice of cult wrestling lore. Yeah. His match, his infamous match. So you don't know who Tom McGee is. No one knows who Tom McGee is. Nobody ever saw Tom McGee except his like. I, I just hope. Lore. That they're gonna put Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling back on. I know he's back, <laughs> back up the company, so yeah. maybe. Yeah, exactly. So Tommy McGee was like this. He was gonna be the next Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Vince McMahon saw this guy. He's a beautiful looking man with a great physique. He's a bodybuilder. He won the World Strongest Man competition. And he gets in a tryout match with Bret Hart, and they <laughs> and he thinks, and Vince McMahon sees his match and he thinks this is my next world champion. Only problem is. He, Look at the wrong person. Bret Hart is such a good wrestler. Bret Hart is one of the greatest wrestlers who has ever lived on a technical level. Is so good that he made Tommy McGee look like a million bucks and they hired him. And he just never panned out because he wasn't that good. Bret Hart was that good. So, like, there's this one infamous match that Tom McGee had for Bret Hart. It was at a house show or whatever. Or it was before the show or after the show. I can't remember it was outside the purview of the live program. It was recorded, but they took the match and they shelved it, and they never let the footage get released. And then the, what actually happened was it was miscatalogued with the wrong name, misspelled name entirely in two different ways, both on the tape and on the sleeve. So there's no way to fucking find this shit. So it just happened to just get lost in the archives by mislabeling. Yeah, I also hardly watch it, which is why I'm canceling it. I'm still, I'm still my free... Free trial though. I'm about to, I'm about to, like I'm about to lapse out of it though. So. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch a couple of Starcades, and then I'm gonna cancel my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a Sunday. I might take tomorrow, and watch Star Q3 Starcades before I, I stream, because I'm probably I'm probably, fingers crossed. I'm not feeling like dog shit or something else is happening. And some other drama shit's not happening. I'm hoping to stream Fire Pro because I haven't streamed in a month. Fire Pro, and I need to get back to it. So. Uh, I might watch some Starcade and then cancel my subscription so I don't forget. Uh, I don't have thoughts on current workers. Triple H uh, seems to know the business better than Vince McMahon right now. But he still looks down on little guys. He still doesn't understand indie wrestling. He doesn't understand that wrestling can be more than just what they present. And so, yeah. uh, the company will be better off under his leadership than it currently is. And I might return as a viewer. It might be good enough to return as a viewer, but I don't know. Other than that, I don't don't know. I don't know. That's the answer, really. The official is, uh, we'll see. He's an okay wrestler. He was always more about himself. He had problems putting other people over sometimes in his youth. Not so much in his later life. You know. Grew up. But when he was younger, he had, he had some problems. When Especially, he was young, he well, never needed anyone. The problem always lies always on, always, always on Vince McMahon's shoulders. Because he gave the click the power and their contracts to do what they did. And so they run ran, they run roughshod over the fucking company, you know? They're playing they're games that's just for fun. And imagine a young, hotshot, 24-year-old with all the power in the world making a million bucks a year. I mean, like, come on. Those days are gone. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just, one came of back the greatest just out legends. singing. <laughs> that's one of the greatest wrestling legends ever, the legend of Tom McGee. I was singing in between his uh, oh. description of. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, yeah, so when we all played Pathfinder, Stoutman was the bard of the party, and he he was. He would sing to cast spells. Stoutman, <laughs> you need to go to the D and D Discord and respond to Oni. Yeah, I know. I I haven't decided yet, honestly. Not just gotta respond to him. You don't. Just, you don't have to have the concept yet. Just, you just gotta respond. You're good with it. No. Okay. 
Eh. I see. don't know if I'm going to have the time yet. Uh, <laughs> you know? Well, then you need to tell <laughs> him. Like, I can't yeah. say yes or no. You, know, you got to tell him so he knows why you're not. I'm interested. Fine. Also, I don't know if I can. There you go. Okay. <laughs> How hard would that be to type? Now just that go would be type so that. So difficult to type. I have no thoughts on uh, SmackDown moving to Fox. The TV is mostly a dead medium. Oh, it's on the way out. Wow. Yeah, it's all about the streaming now. All about uh, what the do you say to people who content. say it's never gonna die? I gotta say that SmackDown I hear is not doing great in the ratings, so maybe it's moved to Friday will be better for its ratings. Yeah. But I think the ratings will continue to decline as long as they make the crap product they make. Yeah, don't they move it around all the time? Like no, not not no. They used to. I think it uh, was for a little bit there. Yeah, I think the the people are done with commercial television in its old form. Um, uh, I mean, if they watch anything, it's the specialty services like HBO and whatnot that yep. are yeah. commercial free and they pay a subscription fee for, and they have on demand content. Um. People don't want commercials during their shows. They just want to watch their show, and well, that's it. You know, the uh, Pandora's box has been opened in that in that fashion. Pretty much. <laughs> now that people can experience something like Netflix, where they yeah. never, or at least rarely, ever get any ads. Yeah. That, like. Once you've had that experience, yeah. you, only get ads you don't Netflix want anything things. else. Yeah, exactly. You just get ads for other shows on Netflix. Like, oh, that's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's usually when you've done watching the last episode of a series. Yeah, it's or like, the end of a movie. You might like this. But, yeah, uh, or when you load up Netflix. The one I hate is when you load up and start playing see, dialogue. I'm like, Stop talking at me. Yeah, see, now that's no. when I... That's one of the reasons I started collecting TV shows on DVD um, when I started collecting stuff was... Um, because I didn't want to wait a week between episodes, and I didn't want commercials, and I didn't yep. want, uh, I didn't want edited version. I wanted the original uncut episodes as they originally aired on network television or whatever it was, so I would yep. get the DVD sets so I could watch them uncut, commercial free, as many in a row as I want. Right? Yeah, like you HBO know? only puts its own shit. You're right. And premium networks do in fact have commercials, but it's only for yeah. their own stuff. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so. technically, a good chunk of the commercials you see on TV are also for stuff on their own networks, but they also give you fucking Tampax ads and fucking, oh, look, Viagra was, ads and Birdseed. Yay! Why I, the fuck are you this I ad? was away from commercial television for a few years, and then when I finally saw commercial television again after having been away from it for like five or six years, I was shocked by how many ads there are for fly-by-night antidepressants Oh, like, I know. There's so many out there, and then they have this big disclaimer of, like, still pending approval by the FDA, and blah, may have these side effects. And it's like, every my other ad part. was a new kind of wonder drug. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? My favorite part is there's the anti-depression medicines, and the straw drawback is suicide. Hmm. I'm like, what is the point of taking this pill <clears throat> that might make me kill myself? What yeah, doesn't fuck? that kind of defeat the purpose of an antidepressant? Like... Right? <laughs> or worse, make you... Uh, those, a lot, some of those people who've done mass shootings may have been on some of those antidepressants, they yeah. say. Yeah. So that's the thing we got to think, look into. That's something that's got to generally talk about. That's I mean, the thing. It's I was just... research. I don't know. You know I'm just well, that's like, the thing. That's what really shocked you is like just how many commercials there were for all these new drugs and pills and vitamins and shit. And gadgets for your kitchen. You know and it's mean? like, what happened to it just being beer commercials and McDonald's commercials and just like commercials for regular day-to-day products that everybody consumes but no it's like are these it, like to me t- that was signaling the downfall of commercial television and like for example o- other things like uh, entertainment news shows which actually used to be about entertainment news like you know entertainment tonight was my go-to for news about upcoming movies and tv A shows current affair. and now <laughs> i i tuned into entertainment tonight around this same time and it's like it was just all gossip. It was like the fucking National Enquirer. It's just all gossip, gossip, yep. gossip. And it's like, where's the actual yep. news? Like, I used to like Entertainment Tonight because it would give little behind-the-scenes things. Uh, they, they would go TV? to the sets and interview people while they're making the movie. And 
They don't do that they anymore. Have, no, TMZ came around, so they had to compete because they were kicking all the ratings. So that's yeah, why they TMZ. Did. TMZ is the one that ruined it. It was fucking tabloid they ruined television. It. They ruined the internet, too. They ruined internet news. That's where all the rumor shit started, yeah, too. They ruined everything. Fucking trash. The National Enquirer of inter internet. And what was that one that went out of business? News. That, you know... What one went out of business? What one that I don't remember. That I don't remember what it's called, but I was going to say that one too. That was dr rubbish. Anyway, um, <laughs> best forgotten apparently. That, <laughs> what's funny is that TMZ, ironically, mm -hmm. has become Gawker, a somewhat more, yeah whatever has become a somewhat more reliable source over time. <laughs> yeah, than some of the shit they ended up inspiring. See, it no, used I mean, to be. Like, when I was watching stuff back in the 80s and 90s, like the, the, the MMC retro era, basically, Entertainment Tonight was the one you went to for the reputable information about yep. movies and TV shows and stuff. And they had really interesting features and engaging hosts who were themselves entertaining and, you know, mm -hmm. fun to listen to. And fucking John Tesh! John Tesh was one of the hosts! You know, and later went off to be a musician as well. But, uh cool guy anyway and then if you wanted your trash tv and your gossip you would watch stuff like a current affair the one that stout mentioned with maury povich <laughs> yeah. and yeah. inside edition and hard copy like that's where you got your oh gossip God. hard like, copy yeah. jesus christ those are the <laughs> ones you watched when you wanted your trash tv and i would watch those occasionally i've got a few old episodes on tape somewhere God but damn. <laughs> of all of those of all that of those i always liked garbage <laughs> Uh, of all of those, I always liked the current affair the best because of Maury Povich. He was a great host. And uh, now uh, he just does DNA tests for everybody. But, my favorite you know. part, <laughs> my favorite part of Ron G, if you watch any of those, like, those, like, uh, if you watch any fucking reality show and you believe it's real, you're being worked. Yeah. It's wrestling. It's fucking wrestling. Yeah. That's, that's all it is. Good they analogy. Look, yeah. They look at wrestling and they went, oh, you mean you, instead of just having real drama, we could just pretend and it will just it, we can control it pretty much we can take edits and we can take yeah. sec takes and you know what i mean like all right just get you, you get a couple work. of good reaction shots you can drop that in anywhere you want but the favorite <laughs> part is when they're done badly like here's my favorite one yeah watch the stephen seagal sheriff one okay here's my favorite he's he is 300 pounds the man is yeah. way out of shape yeah uh, not, probably can't look his leg above the fucking hip line, I imagine, at this point. Yeah. Right? But he, um, he's driving around with these other guys, these big burly dudes, and like, you know, like real cop looking dudes. Yeah. And they get a call, like, oh, we gotta go get this guy. <laughs> the driver of the location, you don't see him running, but you do see him completely winded running up to everyone. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, we catch him. Oh, good. Yeah. And he's like starting to interrogate the guy while fucking winded. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the car to the witness, gassed him out. Yeah, and wow. And he didn't do anything. He just, but he's acting like he caught these guys to the yeah. cameras. And we just watched him walk up after he was already captured. Yeah. Like you're being worth it. It's just he it's basically so bad. used to do kung fu action movies, ladies and gentlemen. This is how far the mighty have fallen. Yeah, well, he but... became a sheriff at some point, a legit sheriff at some point, and then he yeah. got a reality show based on that. To be fair. Yeah. Wow. So That's crazy. One of the other things I'm going to mention is that. You know how the National Enquirer used to be known for being like a oh, it was the go-to for they were the tablet, and, yeah. right? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> they became really like like disrespected. Nobody respected them at all as every source of reliable information. Right? Yeah. What has happened since then is that the guy who used to own that company passed away, and like left it off to his son and his son is completely different. Oh yeah. And he wants to have more reliable information on there. So he tried to make it a more reliable fucking source of information and then I believe he got kicked out of the organization because <laughs> he tried to do that. You're trying to make us too legit. <laughs> it's the National Enquirer here. We don't deal in facts. <laughs> it's all rumors, hearsay and gossip. It's our bread and butter. Uh, but, um, yeah, yeah. It's it's just interesting to see how like the tables have turned in some of those ways because, really, like TMZ has become a source of 
information that yeah. like they are maybe not respectable, but well, they are a source that people can kind of rely on. One one thing ways. about you know? TMZ is they they do a lot of uh, what they call ambush interviews. Well, they'll just catch some famous person like on the way to the bathroom or something and like ask them some hard hitting questions like, Is there any truth to the rumor that you're making another Gremlins movie or whatever it is? And you know and, and sometimes you can see that the person they're interviewing is is well, legitimately annoyed. It's like, Okay, I'm just trying to go take a shit. Can you like <laughs> give me five minutes? Other times they're like, "Oh, hi guys, how's it going?" And they just like, you know, go along with it. It's like, whatever. What do you want to know? But um, so I find it's kind of a mixed bag with TMZ. Um, one thing I did used to see from them, period, I would watch occasionally was they would have these kind of like, just, just a bunch of everybody hanging out in the studio talking about stuff, uh, sessions where they sort of toss around the latest things from the rumor mill but it was all very casual like in the style of it and uh sort of like well this may or may not be true but this is what i heard and so it's fairly upfront about that sort of thing but uh i don't know i find tmz is kind of a mixed bag i kind of roll my eyes when i see I, according I to tmz <laughs> this, this i don't watch garbage yeah i watch wrestling for my garbage entertainment <laughs> Like like some people watch soap operas. It's the same shit. It's like whatever you it's whatever your vice is, man. Just enjoy it. Yeah. If you enjoy TMZ, exactly. go for it. I just don't. I watch other kind of garbage. Yeah. No, I I watch the occasional bit of trash, but generally if I, food, if I want okay. actual entertainment news, I tend to go to like Look. like generally what what okay what I'll do is I'll see an article about something and then I'll see like okay what are the sources that they cite. Mm -hmm. And then I'll click on the source link to go back to the source. Like, I want to read it from where you got it from. And I'll just trace it back and as far as I can. Sue, but I always go back to the source to check. But yeah, I, I do. You know, opinion piece, I read the opinion. I'll so. read, uh, like, if it is if it is an opinion piece, that's fine. But, I mean, usually I'll try to trace it back to the source. And mm -hmm. I do that with a lot of stuff. Like, uh, one thing that I, really irritates me is... Diligence is important. Kids. Is Facebook videos that have been blatantly uh, stolen from people? Um, is we, I will be fair. You in our chat, if you in our Discord, if you post it. Without, the last one yeah. that I posted, I, I have been trying to post the correct video. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, ever since I realized how much it triggers you, it does. So it's like, really rude. I saw that yeah. video first on Facebook, and I yeah. was just like, okay, I want to share this, but. Just being able to see that it's in the fucking pillar box or whatever, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, framing. I know that that's not the original fucking video. So I'm going to yes. go try and find the original video on YouTube. And I found a video of it on YouTube. And I'm like, I guess this is it. <laughs> Sean sees that and says, nope, you must dig further, son. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what. Yes. I'll if tell you I what see... happened. I'll tell you if what I see you post a Lad Bible link, I will delete your Lad Bible yeah. link so fucking fast. Yes. A uh, lad Bible is notorious for that. In Discord server, we want now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like I, I yeah, figured true. that's probably what you tried to do. Now, what I did was, I watched the, I watched the video from the link you posted, and, uh, and then I scrolled down to the comments to see, oh, this is kind of a cool video. I wonder what people are saying about it. And people are saying, you stole this video. You, st you didn't make this video. You stole it. You stole it. I'm like, yep. oh, what the hell? Okay, dig a little deeper in the comments. It's like, the name of the person who made the video is literally on the video. I was like, oh, it's this Chan Man's one or whatever it was. So I just looked up that name on YouTube, found their channel, and sure enough, there was the original video. I'm like, aha. Now, the funny thing is, like, if I had just done... And now to shove it in Stout's face. <laughs> if I had just done a few more minutes of research, just yeah. scroll down a little bit. Yeah. And I, I used to be a hard ass about reposting links. Yeah. My only real complaint about pre posting links is when fucking Commander Motoko uh, Mo shows up after not being on for like two weeks, posts a link right after Stabman does it. He's done it three times now. <laughs> Literally, Stabman, for whatever reason, Stabman posts it. Same link. Five yeah. minutes, I'm not even five minutes later, Commander Motoko. Uh, Major Motoko, Commander Shepard come, come around like, and post Just like, scroll up a little bit. Just, just roll, just. A, a quick flip up. Yeah. Now the yeah. best way to do it, I've found, 
Yeah. Because again, I realize it triggers Funny. some people. Is that um, there's a search function yeah. in Discord. Mm -hmm. It's at the top of the Discord. I didn't hear about that. No, 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 you know, and I'm pretty good with that. Like, you know, if it was posted yesterday and it's not right above you, you can repost it. I'm, not, I'm done being a hard ass. I think, it's, so, I think it's fair. So for me, it's not so much about being triggered. It's just about, as a content creator myself, mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure that the people who are creating the content we're enjoying are getting the views that they should be getting. I don't want some person who stole it to be getting those views and getting that ad revenue or whatever. <clears throat> Um, I want to make sure the credit is being given where credit is due. Now, you may say, well, Sean, you do Google image searches all the time for stuff. Yeah, I do Google image searches for, like, movie posters and shit. Uh, one yeah. thing I do not post is deviant art fan uh, posters. And if I do, I don't do yeah, I don't, I don't post them. And if I do... I don't do manga posters usually. I just... And if I ever did, I would credit them. But the only kind of stuff I do is like uh, either public domain logo PNGs that fans have made for other fans to use for whatever, or movie posters and things like that. Or I do screenshots. Or I'll of, do the I'll do the cover of the movie. Or I'll grab movie. screenshots that someone else has done. But I mean that's like, you know if it's because that's not something that they've created. They've just taken the I might, screenshot. I might know? use this image, right? But it's yeah. something that's like it's a promotional piece. It's yeah. used for movies. It's exactly. Like, so. But as for, you know, actually, I mean, and these people are just literally downloading and reposting someone else's video as their own. And I looked in the comments for that video that Stout posted, for example, and someone called out the person saying, you didn't credit the original artist. And you know what the person who reposted the video said? Well, I don't know them. It's like, what? Um, what is that? Who cares? That doesn't matter. <laughs> you, oh. And they said, the name is right there. Why couldn't you post a link back to their video? And it's, well, obviously, this because just, they're... What happened today? All right, have a good night, Major Matoko. Hey, Major Matoko, I Thanks. love you, buddy. Thanks for everything. Hey. You're awesome. Right. We love you. So, <laughs> over here on Twitter, Rare Horror... By the way, don't follow them. Uh, okay. at Rare Horror. They posted a, a piece that says, Nice art piece on Etsy. Mm, mm -hmm. Tomorrow from the ring. And they just took a photo of it, and that's it. Yeah. It's a really cool thing from Etsy. And the person goes, Guy... Guys, credit the shopper artist, and this is the response. We intentionally don't because because it makes the tweet look like an advertisement, and people are less interested. It's easy to search for find and find search for and find the stuff we share. And the response is like, "That's some fucking bullshit. You should credit the artist." Some other person chimes in. Yeah. And yep. the person says, "Relax, moron. It's easy to search Etsy for the art piece if you have half a brain." Oh my god! If we wow. post a direct link to it, it looks like an advertisement. It doesn't do as well. So our artists better off if we don't directly link credit to them. That's artists yeah. are better off if we don't directly credit them. What yep. the fucking fuck? So don't follow Rare Horror. In fact, you should go block them. Also, you should probably call them out on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying you should brigade, but you should yeah. totally brigade. Yeah. All right, have a good night, Truly Goober. Thanks again, man. Really appreciate the uh, the donation there. That that's definitely going to help out a lot. I, I really appreciate that. So, You're the reason we mostly ignore our comments. You're dumb as a brick. We have ninety six thousand followers, and you lots only have more of the stuff you like coming. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice mixed bit of commentary in the middle of calling out an asshole while I'm yeah. saying something <laughs> nice to a generous <laughs> viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love you, Mary. That's, that's, you know. um, here, here's the here, here's my the final straw. There's a shit ton of public domain photos we share that would do just as well in terms of likes and retweets. People harassing us for giving people free advertising is hilarious. We don't make a profit off of this. We do this because we like horror. Fuck off, moron. Like, uh. This is that same. You're not giving them free advertisement if you're not advertising. Who they are. Well, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Exactly. 
I'm like retweeting my friends. All my friends are talking shit about this person too. This is hilarious. Yeah. Like he's literally complaining that he doesn't want it to look like an advertisement. And then moments later, well, probably not moments, but in one of the next what tweets, he actually, says, honestly, in one of the like, next tweets, he says, well, we're giving you free advertisement. Which is it? Do you not want to give them advertisement, or are you giving them free advertisement? Well, Which the, is it? Those guys have basically <laughs> just destroyed themselves by being assholes. Like they're not gonna. They're idiots. They're gonna. That's why I'm like. That's why I called them out. I don't call people out. I'm gonna say you're literally egregious idiots. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just yeah. don't. I just not worth the time. But sometimes you gotta call someone out. Yeah. Exactly. I'm too wrong to make it right, but I like being wrong sometimes. Yeah. No, it's it's how you learn and grow. You know. I like being wrong when I can actually learn something from it. Like not to follow that guy? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Why would you want to follow this account? Jesus fucking Christ. All this vitriol over people just asking them to credit the artist when tweeting someone's work. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this game. Oh. But yeah. I was like, you know, this just happened today to me. I'm a friend of mine, actually, but... It's actually a friend of a friend. Hold a but... second. Let's let me see if I can find this here, and I'll uh, I'll bring it up just to show you. What are you guys. doing? The Etsy thing? No, the thing, the thing oh. that you just. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I can't show my disc, my Twitter. <laughs> no, that's okay. I can just show the thing here. Uh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> wow, I would join it. So if we bring this up, this is some of the shit we're talking about. So this is from Rare Horror. That's the... my friend. You're the reason we mostly ignore our comments. You're dumb as a brick. We have 96,000 followers, and you have 111. For a reason. Wow. Here's her, here's oh the, that person who took this, her real name is Sarah Jane. Yeah. Named after the Doctor Who character. I, I assumed, yeah. She, she's a friend of mine. She's a really good, good lady. There's a shit ton of public domain photos we share that would do just as well in terms of likes and retweets. People harassing us for giving people free advertising. It's hilarious. Yeah. We don't make a profit off this. We do it because we like horror. Fuck off, moron. Make How sure. about you then post the public domain photos and stop stealing art then? Yeah. It's gonna do really Make well. sure it yourself if you can't. Or won't if it does, it's going to do just as well. Then why don't you just do the public domain stuff? You're fucking moron. We do this for fun, not profit. If you want to find the stuff we share, it's really assuming you have half a brain. We're providing free well, advertising. If yeah, you just... want to find the stuff we share, it's really assuming you have half a brain. It's really. Excuse me. Yeah. Who has half a brain here again? It's really. It's really. It's really. <laughs> they know. think they don't get enough traction on a tweet if they credit the artist. They believe by only showing the work they're giving free advertising. How would anybody <laughs> know who the fucking artist is if you didn't tell them who it was? I, I, you they, dumb fuck. Are you expecting people to yeah. fucking do an image, Google, a Google image search? To go through all the fucking trouble they have. How are you providing free advertising? We don't tell people who the artist is. Yeah, exactly. People were trying to point that out, and well, they didn't like it. Yeah, because oh my god, it's too fucking obvious. <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go on a limb here, and say I bet you the Republicans run that site. <laughs> wow, bringing politics into it, are we? It's the Mr. Party. Political guy. Rare the horror. Don't forget to block him. The dots. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. I'm just I'm looking politics. to see. Yeah. Want to see more vitriol? We can mock them. Yeah. You can hit tweets and replies if you want to see all of it. Oh, there. Okay. Hold on. Tweets and replies. Oh, cool. There we go. No, oh, no, 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 no. Go back. What? No. What? God damn it. Sorry. Oh. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you were yelling at Twitter? You saw something and now it's gone? <gasps> yeah. God. Something's gone. It's gone now. Gone. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know what Twitter changed, but I hate it. It's very fucky now. And. You're fucky. I mean, I so I'll just be scrolling through and I'll pass <clears> by <throat> something and I'll go to go back to it and it'll be gone. Like, what? Where did it go? I saw it. Like, I, I know I didn't imagine it. Hate it. <laughs> I've generated a lot of sales on Etsy without linking to the creator. I attached some proof for you since you seem to be a fucking idiot. Oh my god. There are a lot of people smart enough to find the item without a direct link. Here's an example. Same example. So again, I'm sorry for providing free advertising to artists. 
You know... That doesn't make any sense. I can tell why it's you have like, 32 followers. There, see, there's still like... See, I would never do yeah. that. Like, that's something I never do. Other than... Yeah. Uh, I might say... You know, if someone says, nobody cares about your video, and then I'll point out how many views it has. I'll say, like, well, 9,000 people disagree with you. And... But that's it. I won't, like, go to their page and it's like, unlike the the three people who subscribe to you versus like, my 20,000. Like, I would stop. never, ever do that because that is so tacky. Like... It doesn't matter how many views you have. No. Act like a fucking professional or fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we no longer I'll, share anything on Etsy and stuff. Act like a reasonable adult. Shut up. That's all I'm saying. Act like a reasonable adult. Reply to your own retweet with a fucking link. It's not that hard. You don't have to put in the original tweet. You can literally just reply to your own retweet and make it a thread. And people will go, oh, it's a thread. And they'll look at it and go, oh, there's a fucking source. I can go buy it now. And your original tweet doesn't look like a fucking link. It doesn't look like an advertisement when it's just the... the you just gotta reply. Oh, my God. It's so this fucking... Is, is this her start? Nice art piece on Etsy. Okay. So how mm -hmm. about a link to it? Guys, credit... Oh, there it is. Guys, credit the shop artist. This is where it started. Yep. And then they provided a link after they were asked. Link, please. Link. Mm hmm Okay. I mean, I have to believe that the person who wrote all those tweets was having a very bad day. Hey, look. Dread Central did it right. Dread Central. This like, is a fantastic piece of art by Claire McDougal. Make sure to check out her Etsy page for other ghoulishly beautiful products. Link. Click on it. I bet you that image shows that it was posted earlier and these people are, even, are just copying other horror tweets with Pro basically probably not verbatim just well it's hard to say but uh, just the photo and yeah well it's the, it's i mean it's the etsy photo it's the same i know photo, but... so what i was going to say though is that you you don't <laughs> unfollowed rare don't horror don't and follow dread central people instead. like that don't <laughs> you're doing yourself a disservice i will do as, that as well uh, uh, whatever the fuck you're anything whatever the oh. fuck they're doing you're on twitter if you just fucking berate people yeah. who disagree with you about something like that, mm -hmm. you're just making yourself look like an asshole, making people not want to follow you anymore, making people yeah. want to unfollow this the, you. This is the behavior. You're, you're, yeah. This behavior is the reason why I don't shop at Diabolic DVD, why I don't buy Code Red DVDs movies, yeah. why I don't buy it from Scorpion, because you can act like a complete asshole. I don't want to give you money. That's why I that's go to Grand Hill Studio of Tampa to buy my movies instead. Either that's a pattern of behavior for them, yeah. or that guy had a really bad day. Like, something had to... That still might be a pattern. When he has a bad day, that's not helpful. had to... Yeah, exactly. Ha! <laughs> Dread Central did it, right? Wonder how much it cost them. Dread Central responds, a smile. That's all. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Dread Central earned a follow from me, just from their classy responses to this piece of shit thread and rare horror has uh earned a block yeah and excellent you shall also good. block them we're good and never ever peruse their stuff never they don't deserve your patronage they don't deserve even your negative attention just go and block them. Don't don't be yeah, shitty to them. No, block not them. gonna respond. Not gonna oh. do anything. Oh, I mean, I responded and called them out. But I mean, yeah, I was like, oh look, this this person being really shitty. Blocked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. Huh. Uh. I'm sure he responded to me, but he's blocked. So I can't see him. And I don't really care. Mm -hmm. hey. I can go do it if I gave a shit, but I don't. Exactly. I'm going to go put my ice cream back. One of the worst occasions is when somebody on Facebook and Twitter posts a vid from YouTube and gets millions of views without giving credit. Yes, that's that's the thing that burns me up, and that's why I started, like, um, more actively. That's, like, 99% of Facebook, Yeah, too. Facebook's really bad about that. And especially Ooh, knowing the creator won't fuck. see a single penny of any, right? Yeah, no, and that, that's the thing. Like, I've seen cases like that where I've seen a video on Facebook clearly stolen. Uh, and it has like 5 million views on it. And then I'll go and look up the original video on YouTube, find, to dig a little bit, find it, and it'll have like maybe 120k. You know, the original creator. 
has 120k. The one who stole it has 5 million with no credit. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll leave that Facebook post open in another tab and I'll post a comment there saying, here, here's the non-stolen version and then a link to the YouTube. Yep. And that's it. So. It's just those kind of things. It's like, you know. Uh, it's, just... it's, it's like fucking E-bombs world all over again. Like apparently we didn't learn our lesson. No, it's never going to stop. Facebook oh, made it easy no one, to look, steal. As long as someone can take a shortcut, they won't take the hard work. Yeah, Wait, I know. Oh, so you wanted like shit. 18 million views and the original only had 200k. Yeah, that's sickening. That is, that is sickening to me. Like, that happened, uh, so that happened to Burt Kreischer recently. He posted a video from his like special, the standard special. His video got some shares, but like three different videos that shared, that stole his video got 20 million each. That's ridiculous. Which, well, but he's not so mad because that means he got a lot of people looking at his special. But well, that's true. in this yeah. case, he's a famous but, comedian, he's already making money. It's a difference. Yeah. But, but uh, it, it happens, you know? But what I've seen a lot of uh, content creators start to do is they'll, uh, they'll put up a page of their own, like a fan page, and they'll post their videos there as well um, in the hopes that they can get some of them tasty Facebook views, you know? Fucking Facebook. Yeah. Well, Thank you. I mean, Thank you. love it or hate it, people are watching it. So, I mean, it's it's a place where content is consumed. I don't even go there anymore. So, I know you don't, but apparently 20 million other people do. So, 4 million, 50 million. Uh, yeah, a yeah. lot of people do. So, I mean, it. yeah. It's dying someday. Well, everything will die someday. YouTube will die someday, but, you know. Uh, don't, don't. Let's not talk about that. I know. <laughs> Why? Thought. Because we're archiving all our Twitch streams there for the moment. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have the space to download all my videos. I know. I, I probably have more than 100 gigs. I dread the day when I have to do that. It's like, okay. Okay, 4K video downloader. Download the entire Zero and Isaac channel. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Downloading. Yeah. 37 10, terabytes of data. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Looks like you met your uh, bills and stuff requirement. I, I did at like halfway through the month, which is awesome. So this is good. It's Woo! definitely gonna help. Um, also, finally got my taxes in. Uh, should be getting at least a little bit of money back from that. Not all of it is okay. going to MSP, so um, so that'll help me to drop some bucks on the bills as well. Just kind of get them ahead a little bit, and then uh, well, that's good. We'll see. Yeah. It all depends. Um, I don't know. It, it depends how much I get back. I mean, they should see that I am now poor, so MSP shouldn't be costing me. That's the health plan here. Right, uh, right. Shouldn't be costing me anything now because I'm below the threshold. But um, so whatever was left owing from when I was still making money should be uh, should be cleared up with that refund, I think. And then uh, whatever's left over will be coming my way. So. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll find out what the final tally is on that. <laughs> and then that collection agency that's been harassing me to death will just go away. Because the debt will be paid. Yeah, that'll never happen. I'll keep bugging you, bugging you, bugging you. I like the, I, I like the idea of basically the government paying itself. <laughs> which is essentially what that is. My taxes, which they're giving back to me are going towards that bill from the other branch of the government that they are harassing me about, and that will clear that. <laughs> and then I'll get change, whatever the change is. I like the idea of saving money on things that everyone needs at some point by paying for it all through taxes. Yes. That's a really wise investment... It has worked pretty much every time it's ever been tried by any fucking government ever. Yep. So, yeah. But not in America. Um, nope. Got to do things differently in America. America. <laughs> well, that's just it. The only argument I ever hear is like, well, the, all the uh, countries you're talking about, all the governments you're talking about, they're not America. You don't know that it'll work here. The same thing that worked there wouldn't it never work, work here. For some reason, yeah, I can't for some explain reason, why. It's like, yeah. Okay, but why? Why do you think it wouldn't work here? Because we're different. 
Because companies or something. Yeah. Is Oil industry. But her emails. Why, why, <laughs> why are we different? Well, first of all, our country is a lot bigger than the other country you're talking about. We have more people living here. Okay, so it should work even better then. Because you'll have to pay even less in your taxes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you know how much they have to pay for in their taxes because there aren't as many fucking people to go yeah. around to pay for that shit? So, so it'll be better than is we what you're saying. We will be paying less and getting the same quality of care. So I mean, the whole American exceptionalism thing is just a joke. Yeah. yeah. We're well, not better than fucking Americans. Yeah. America is pretty exceptional. It's a cool place. Exceptionally. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say exceptionally shit. I'll just think it. <laughs> Don't kick uh, my I, fetus. Believe it or not, I do love this. Don't country. kick That's my fetus. That's why I want to <laughs> fix it. That's why I want to see it change for the better. Yes. Whatever, cuck. <laughs> that is typically the response I get. <laughs> <sighs> All right, just came, just came out now. libtard cuck. Well, that's one of the bonuses <laughs> to ADHD. You just have to just say something, even though Spoken I haven't. Spoken like a true libtard. I'm not like say shit, even though I haven't vetted if it's okay to say or not. It gets me in trouble sometimes too. But I also love when it gives me the quick quip. It's like okay, cuck, and just like boom, it's the timing. You know what gets me? I, I see uh, I've been men mentioning insurance company money, and I'm like. I don't understand why people w rush to defend the insurance company. Do you mean the same insurance companies that charge you hundreds of dollars each fucking month and then when you deign, or when you dare to try and use their service for anything, they're like, no, we're not going to pay for any of that shit. Like, no. Excuse me? I'm never. paying you monthly so that you'll pay for this shit when I need it. And you're saying No. Yeah. Correct. What? It should never be no. The answer should be, oh, okay. Keep hearing you. You're going to pay for it. It's something I needed. And yeah. that's the problem with making this a privatized system. The fact that it's a privatized system means that they are in it to make as much money as they can off of you yep. Yep. by not giving you uh, or taking, you or taking so care of you. Healthcare was privatized here in BC a few years ago. I actually worked for the company that it was given to for a short time. Um, and can confirm they are assholes, and if it had not been privatized, there would not be a collection agency harassing me to death to pay that bill right now, uh, because Lovely. it would be taken care of internally by my taxes, which, ironically, it is anyway, but they just got impatient because I was late with my 2017 taxes, so, oh, I guess we gotta harass them now, let's send this to the collection, fuck off, just fuck off. Take my tax refund like you've been doing for the past several years and pay yourself with that. Please. You can stop bothering me about it. Like, just and leave. Fuck just off. You figure it out. Here's the off. wallet. You figure it out. You literally just throw the wallet. You figure it out. Yeah, exactly. You figure it out. I know. I think it's funny. Like, you know, you just. Ugh. Here, look at wanna... my taxes. See how poor I am and fuck off. Thank what you very much. What am I paying much. you for? John, you do it. Yeah. I, I think you need to understand something, though. <laughs> in America, specifically in America, uh -huh. taxation is theft. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Stealing my money. They, you think oh, they know how to use my money better than I do, but look what they do with right. it. They don't understand <laughs> my money like I do. That's <laughs> because you drink too much fluoride. I <laughs> control drugs. They keep power playing like this over and over again, and you're just like, I hate you. You're not, you're not supposed to drink it, you know. <laughs> just gargle it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess I missed out on the stuff. Oh, well. Oh, no. It is currently $182.01 on Amazon. Holy shit. Holy yeah. fuck. I have something that's over a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> the Arrow video releases the stuff. Yep. Let's see how much it's uh, actually. It's worth Amazon CA. Let me check Amazon.com. Yeah, it might be an import for you. 
Well, it still shouldn't be that much, even if it's an import. Most of them well, are, but... I don't know, someone being an asshole. Or someone's being an asshole. <laughs> it's always an option, don't forget. Well, yeah, the Region 2 version is still available, I can tell, because you can buy it right now for $15 on eBay. But, but that would be Region Lock, specifically. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, uh, yeah, no, it's... A release. 80 yeah. bucks. 80 bucks it's US. Wow. It's out of print. I've got a valuable Blu-ray. I missed it. I'll have to look around locally. See I have that still one there. too. So, because some some out of print stuff does show up I on the shelf here. So, feeling, I have a feeling there's going to be a limited edition set because it's an older Blu-ray, a little older Arrow title. Uh, I don't know. It's not that old. Doing you know what I'll do, Sean? What? If uh, if they have it on sale, like the Region B version, during this sale, I'll pick that up and I'll send you my U.S. copy. Oh, oh wow. okay. Thank that you. That way, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. <laughs> the fact that you can't afford to spend hundreds of dollars. Well, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You gonna it's suck his dick dependent. next? Huh? No. I said you're gonna suck his dick next. <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, I just dyed my pubes, so it looks like There's a younger dick dollars. than it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I like yeah. the carpet to match the drapes, okay? I mean, it's the <laughs> stuff. You, you, man. You gotta have the stuff. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you. The stuff. Much. Uh, I, I only got, judge you when you play games. I got the stuff. Well, I know you do. Everybody does. To this does. day, you can still find uh, cups of the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I've always wanted to get one of those. Yeah. Are you eating it, or is it eating you? <clears throat> you know what I really want to get is those, uh... Fucking, uh... All that hammer stuff that's coming out now. I've got a good chunk of it, but I don't have any of the, <sighs> the Screen Factory shit, because it's all Screen Factory expensive yeah. shit. Those ones I'll probably get locally from Sunrise. They get all those in. They're usually about 30 bucks. Here we go. I will promote the people who put this on Etsy for no reason. Yay! I promote them for no reason. Got all Etsy. Etsy Wetsy. The stuff. Fiery Inlet. No artificial ingredients. Oh, here we are. Got a nice comment on the my obsession with Batman 1989 from Silver Valley Coins and Button. Or, or no, sorry, Coins and Bullion. It's hard to read on the smaller screen. Uh, it says, Tim Burton is a master of the neo-noir genre. That's not where I thought that sentence was going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, really, I really loved his take on Gotham City. Also, the fact that this movie was a revenge story, and Batman told the Joker he was going to kill him in no uncertain terms. You will never see that in a modern superhero movie. That's true. That's true, actually. He did say, right, too, he says... I'm going to kill you. Like, he actually said that to the Joker. I mean, it could happen in an Elseworld story. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> he actually like, you could does. Imagine, like, if they did a live-action Dark Knight Returns, oh. you know, I can see that. But yeah. it's not going to happen in, like, a main, main line, mainline story. Not a mainstream story. one, no. Not now. We are in the age of the pussy. Yep. Everything's got to well, be sanitized and politically correct. No, I just don't think it's not really in Batman's character to say that, honestly. Well, I know. I'm just being honest. I guess. It's not entirely out of character for an alternate version of him, he, but well, the, the modern interpretation yeah. is very different from the guy who would kill or even the, say that. Well, the original, I mean, he didn't really kill people, but he didn't stop them from getting killed if they were bad. In which case, the current Batman would, though. You know, he would try, I guess, but... He would at least try, yeah. Like, in, in the case of Golden Age Batmans, like, he literally said, like, a villain would die, and he'd, like, he got what he deserved. <laughs> you know, he was like, just take no shit. Uh, there was one, actually, I read, and it, this is from, like, the Robin era, where it's supposed to be the lighter, more jovial Batman, where they catch the bad guy, and the bad guy so does not want to go to jail and atone for his crimes that he pulls out a gun and shoots himself in the head. And you see it clear as day in one of the panels. Yep. Fucking brutal. And it's like, wow, he just couldn't live with his crime. Yep, so he killed himself. Like, wow, holy shit. 
<laughs> Almost every Batman scholar agrees it's really out of tone for Batman stuff. There's you know? uh there's a lot of like dark shit in those early ones. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, of course. It's very different era. Well, I mean, it's there's also the reason why the comics code happened. You know, I think about it also in that that is from right. the same era as the Shadow, the uh, yep. radio plays we've been listening to, and the Shadow was very merciless with. Uh, with the villains and stuff and uh you know he would always talk about how they were going to get the death penalty and burn in the electric chair for their crimes and stuff like that and he just put the fear of death into them all the time you know and i was like yeah that's uh, and, and that was one of the inspirations for for well, batman so i mean it's the fear of death is definitely in batman uh, oh or... absolutely absolutely he'll even break a bone you'll break a rib i mean he'll yeah. he'll family over a roof but i, I don't I, think you i do it's like not really I, his, do, I do like in the game uh death. some of the interrogation scenes where you, you grab the guy and he's like how many bones do i have to break before you tell me what i want to know <laughs> i'm like okay okay i'll tell you <laughs> that's a much darker batman but... yeah yeah but it's, it's not too uh, bad i like it. it's an alternate universe it's okay it's allowed it's the arkham verse yeah as they call it there's the comics in that universe you know are there yeah, there's a bunch of them. You don't want to get down that rabbit hole. Probably not. Yeah, I've already gone Very down enough. Enough, enough Batman rabbit holes as it is. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, man. I don't want to spoil Titans, but which would add it? Oh, okay. It's, I don't think yeah, I don't really care about right. this now. I do. It's supposed to be good. I plan yeah, to check I just, it out. I mean, I'm just not like running towards it. Okay. I'll get around to it eventually. It's on Netflix here, so it's easy for oh, me to Oh, Lucky see. Bastard. Yes. <laughs> but oddly, Swamp Thing is not. So I don't know what the rules That's are there. so strange. Yeah. I doesn't make any sense at all. I think, actually, Swamp Thing was supposed to be on Crave TV here, but they apparently pulled it after, like, before, e episode. before even the first episode. Like, they didn't even show it at all here. Wow. So. I had no faith in that show, huh? It's really... I think the theory I heard is uh, AT&T recently bought Warner or something, or bought something significant, and uh, has like a significant stake in what they do, and may have uh, wanted to shake things up a little bit, or didn't like what they were doing, and wanted to change something, or I don't know. But there's some, I think they're trying to save face, and they just fucked up tax forms. Some and fingers like are pointing at AT the AT and T uh, purchase. Ugh. As well, and just it's not just Swamp Thing. Yeah. It's, it's basically everything on the DC universe right now is either being canceled or in jeopardy or uncertain. They should have never fucking launched them. Like it's right out of the gate, like they haven't even been out for a year. <laughs> See, you know. Warner should have just been like, "Oh, you wanted to kick off, um, you wanted to kick uh, ne Netflix and the Marvel want to divorce, then we should partner with Netflix." That's what yeah, I've done. Exactly. Let's join up. Let's make you. Let, why don't you make some shows for us now, and we'll just yeah keep our shows over here. This is the home of our shows worldwide. I that would have been the smart thing. All the Warner content, Netflix now. Like that would have been like, yeah, duh. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and some of it is, but only in other countries. Like in the U.S., they're really pushing yeah. the DC streaming service. And yeah, Carlton, exactly. Like I don't know what I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't think they even know what the fuck they're doing right now. Like they had all this great content coming, and we got some of it, and now it's done. Like what? Well, <laughs> that didn't last very long. <laughs> Disney now owns two streaming services because they, I guess, assumed control of Hulu somehow. I don't know how that works. I, I don't know, know they how that works either. Control the company. Like, it's ours now. Like what? What? So I don't know how that's going to affect. Can they just close Hulu now that they have a competing streaming service? Are they going to merge? Well, they're putting they're, a bunch of content on Hulu. Honestly, merging yeah. them and changing the name. They're putting might. content on Hulu. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, but they use two different things. Dun dun dun. Why have two streaming services when you can have one? I'm gonna have to find some more creepy gifts for uh, everything. But actually, that the, that follow one is fairly new. I just added that one recently. I yeah, you can answer, change up the gift. Yeah. Why well, have two when you can have one? The answer is money. Because now people so can pay for two services oh, from us. That's everybody. wrong thinking. Because you're not actually making more money. You're yeah. just dividing the money, the same amount of money between two parts, where you can have one source by combining the two. They are now one. 
people who want the content you come to that regardless. Yeah. If it's on Hulu or whatever. Just, that it's seems funny. perfectly logical and 125% correct. However... <laughs> <laughs> the way you're wrong is... <laughs> I, I don't get... People are like, oh, Disney's too massive. They're, they are not too massive. They're just really massive. I mean... They're very... They are too they they're getting they're scarily not a monopoly, massive. Though. But they're honestly. massive, but they're not a monopoly. They're not yet a monopoly in the way that, like... <laughs> A monopoly, the way it's actually defined, requires complete but, and total control. However, the, however, <laughs> they do control a shit ton of our entertainment consumption. I know. Right I would now. say like at least getting, more than fifty percent of the market, I believe. Yeah, uh, they can, I, they're getting close. They're to getting 50%. pretty close to fifty percent of the market. <laughs> yeah, and they <laughs> here. Let me see here. All they need I'll to do is buy a Sony, game. basically. If they buy Sony, it'll be or Paramount. Disney and Warner All Brothers. Although Monopoly's may be big, sizes are not. Paramount? Monopoly. So thinking... they need to buy two more, and they will have a Monopoly level of control. Yeah, honestly. I'm thinking the next one on, on their radar would be Paramount. Okay, so when a specific person or enterprise is the only supplier of a particular commodity, yeah. but I believe... Uh... Law in the United States might be different. There's, it's more like an oligopoly. There's only a few people oligopoly. that are dominating. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh. My brain just had the weirdest craving for Minute Maid Fruit Punch. <laughs> I so don't even mean, know. So they're not a monopoly. They're what you call a mopstony. And a mopsony is a market structure in which a single buyer substantially controls the market as the major purchaser of goods and services. And I don't think there's anything I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Necessarily, I think legally speaking. So monopsony the problem is monopsonies can sometimes manipulate price of the uh, of markets, so you gotta be careful about that. Interesting. I just learned way too much about economics. I'm done. Yeah. Oligopoly, yes. What the fuck is WeChat? Oligopoly. Instagram. Well, I am getting tired. This finally. is interesting. I would tell you, Bugle, that Park Avenue is a terrible place to invest. You oh. definitely need to invest all the light colored ones and the reds and orange, the reds and yellow. Those are the most landed on ones. Everything has to be. I am retweeting a video onto Twitter. It shows uh, okay. it's only a minute and a half, but it's uh, basically kind of an infographic that shows how the various uh, um, social media platforms have risen and fallen over the past. <laughs> 15 years or so mm -hmm. so it's, it starts in 2004 and goes up to now i think but it's quite interesting to see kind of ones that there's a few there i haven't even heard of it goes up to 2018 oh no i won't get the limited edition tough ones bullet pen because i didn't order from diablo Di diabolic dvd look i don't give a fuck Diabolic DVD handle the situation like giant children, and I never want to give them money again. I don't care about your stupid limited editions. They're only through them. Suck my dick. Do not get my money. You can't make me. You can't make me. You my mom it. said, you can't make me. <laughs> this is the only way to guarantee you'll get them through Diabolic DVD, which means I, I might need to make that. that. Sorry, I need to make that a fucking audio clip on my channel. When and if I ever do get You never stream, shut streaming. up. I'd like to see you stream, but you never stream, come on. That's, that's why I said when and if I ever get hey. back to streaming. Go stream! Well, not right now. You gotta sleep. But... Well, yeah. Stream right now. Stream yourself sleeping. Sleeping stream. <laughs> <laughs> Stout ASMR sleeping stream. You know, we could start easy Stout, by just doing some co-op games on like Saturday before S and I or whatever if you want. Or Sunday since you're usually doing things on Saturday, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We you should know. play Half Dead again. That was so much fun. Yeah. That'd be good. 
That's a good game. I feel like to play once every year or so. You know what I mean? After we should do that. Like it would get tired really quick. Well, yeah, it's not something you want to play all the time. I mean, it's, it only yeah. has so much steam to it. But uh, but no, it was fun. We had fun last time. And revisiting but, it is always fun. Yes. Yes. Always. Watch it would on be fun scream as the fucking lawnmower <gasps> blade slowly. It's always fun. Yes. <laughs> you ran into the room. <laughs> Got set oh, on no. fire and then threw your shoes at Stout. <laughs> I've, I've got bad news, Sean. What? The Tix creator has given up on finding the show a new home. Oh. Rest in peace, Tick. You had a good run God repeatedly. Damn it. I need to finish watching that, actually. It disappears forever. That's unfortunate. God damn it, Amazon. That was one of the reasons I subscribed to you, was for the tick. Yeah. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Tick dies again. Yeah. At least this live action one lasted longer than the last one. And was, like, way closer to what the creator wanted. It was, yeah. Well, also, oh, being, being on Prime, they could be a little bit edgier with their humor. I think they were given exactly zero requirements. I think they just got to do whatever they wanted. Pretty Most of the streaming yeah. don't bother. They don't care. Yeah, that's true. If you do something controversial, just means more people will come look at you. Exactly. Yeah. They might have to pull your show, but the whole point is they'll get, you know, yeah. track. Essentially, Carlatin, Yeah. So Netflix. So Netflix is the only reliable streaming service, pretty much. Surprise! And, surprise. Well, Amazon. Amazon's still reliable. That's just yeah. you know the their their PC interface is a pain in my dick though. Mm. Trying to watch anything through the web so pulling teeth really but you got like a yeah i haven't had yeah. any issues with it uh, it, I, it's not as street it's not as nice as netflix's layout but it's uh no no one is as nice as netflix no shutter comes close though i gotta say shutter's reliable and comes close yeah i really like I, that's the one i suggest I'm if you have to do a second one shutter I'm, man i'm considering shutter just because i do Shutter's love good. me some horror and they're doing more and more original content Dude, so. they have Joe Bob Briggs. There's no other reason to get it. The other, <laughs> the other is just bonus. But yeah, fair enough. I, I pay. I pay every month because it's my Joe Bob Briggs dues. I always said. I always said. No matter what happens, if it came back, I would do whatever it could to watch it and make That's sure right. it got my support. Because Monster Vision was so in, hugely important to my childhood, my development as a film watcher. Yeah. That's why I have a shelf full of fucking Monster Vision ish, -ish movies. Yeah. You know. Some of them were actually on Monster Vision. I didn't, I mean, I... See, I didn't watch any of that. Like, uh, we got reruns of Elvira movie Macabre, but that was it. We didn't really have like any local horror hosts. Uh, well, it was, was Turner Broadcasting Television. You still didn't get it up there. It wasn't local. It was national U.S. Yeah. No, I it's think probably the most notable, the most other than Elvira, John Bloom is the most known horror host because it was well, Sven Gulli would be the other big one. That, that's up there, yep. Yeah. And Vampira, of course. Vampira started it all, basically. Gugliardi. Yeah. I liked uh, Zachary. Yeah, Zachary. I have, Zachary, a, I have, I have a few videos of Zachary. It was funny. But yeah, I mean, like, that's the reason why Joe Bob Briggs is so popular, though, because he was on a nationally run show. Yeah. He just and got, he just got the exposure. Well, that movie, Macabre, I mean, that, that got a lot of exposure, too, because they sold the... Uh, syndication package all over the place so she just got a lot yep. of exposure what the streaming services do yeah video releases comic books <laughs> i think the first i heard of elvira was the old dc comic series from the uh 80s i my first exposure was um a commercial for elvira mistress of the dark tv showing oh really <laughs> <laughs> and i watched it and i fell in love with her I think I saw, I, yeah. Donna, she was afterwards. I think the then I saw a few episodes of the movie Macabre just in random repeats, and then uh, and then saw the movie around the same time, <coughs> and uh, it's like, wow, she's awesome. But uh, alrighty, well, I think we're all running out of steam here, it's folks. Also Commander USA, groovy movie. That was the other really cool okay. one. Okay, <laughs> came into me just now. I alrighty. I don't want to miss, miss out on that. Okay. Well, I think we're going to call it a night here, folks. Thanks for joining us for the Thanks after time. party. We had a, had a good after party this week. A lot of, a lot of yeah. good, good conversations about stuff. Yep, is, yep, yep. Which is why we do them. 
keep the party going. All right. So have yourselves a good day or night. Um, I'll probably stream tomorrow after taking Rose back to her mother's. We're likely going to be watching season two of Attack on Titan during the day. So I'll let you know how that goes. It's going to be new to me. I've, I haven't seen it. So it'll be new to both of us. We can be shocked and amazed by plot twists aplenty um, as we go. What time do I think? I don't know. It depends. Sometimes I'm just too tired, honestly, after taking her back to her mom's, and I just end up doing my own thing all night. But uh, I do have a shit ton of editing to do, so expect at least an editing stream, possibly a late night one. I don't know. We'll see. I get back from taking her home around 7-ish my time, so it'll be no earlier than like 8, probably. So probably going to yeah. grab some food first and then stream after. So anyway... Have yourselves a good day or night, and we'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. Sayonara. Peace. Anus. <laughs>